nicotine and conversations and podcasts, they all just kind of coexist very nicely. It does. It goes well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, but what's going on, YouTube? Oh, it is your boy, Blogmaster Master Vlogger, here today at uh, another episode of the Vlogcast with returning guest Sam Newton. Sam. Hi, guys. What's going on, buddy? Nothing much, man. Just hanging out. Thanks for having me again. Oh, absolutely. Actually, another really short notice for you, too. So you're just coming in clutch overall here. Hey, I yeah, no problem. I Well, luckily, I don't work. You know what I mean? I just got off of... I just got off... Well, I worked a week straight. Yep. And they're 12-hour shifts. So I put in 84 hours in a week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so now you have a full week off starting now? Yep, yep. Start, today was my first day off. I got a lot done. I did a little bit of car shopping today. I'm looking at picking up a new really? car. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. A little, yeah, little bit so. of an upgrade. What were you? Uh, what were you looking at? Well, today I went to I went to Subaru and mm. I checked out um, the a 2019 Legacy. I'm getting a new car, a new car. Uh, I checked out a 2019 Legacy. I want something that's got all wheel drive. I was looking at some of the SUVs. WRX but... man. The WRX is. It's really meant to to beat on. I want something a little more realistic. I'm not okay. a big I'm not a big running gunner, you know. If I but were But you don't have to beat on it. You just have the option to smoke people in a race if you so choose to. Yeah, if I wanted to, but you know, just It's not it's not my car. I love WRXs. I think they're awesome, but it's just not my kind of vehicle. Fair unfortunately. Enough. You if know? you did have a faster Plus type a pretty, of vehicle choppy on stick speed okay you know like i'm pr pretty subpar <laughs> yeah like, if you uh if you had to uh, pick a sports car what would it be oh man like practicality doesn't matter and there's not a budget my, my dream car is a bmw okay like a 328 yeah my thing is there's just the maintenance on those things is ridiculous i know and we don't have a dealership we've got i think one place in town mm -hmm. that'll work on like bmws Audi, i think it's right out that higher is it? I think it might be, or they're one of them. I don't know which one it is. I've just heard. I've just heard that we've only got one. Maybe by now we've got two or so, but not a lot. And they're super expensive. Exactly. Oh, like even sure. an oil change is like over a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's absurd. Like uh, Brandon Kemmer, who's going to be joining us whenever he's done drinking at the bar. He drives a BMW. Does he? Yeah. Right. On. I think it might be like an 08 or something, but you know. Yeah. She spanks. Which is not, dude the uh, 2008. BMW 328ii series was the first BMW that I saw that I fell in love with it. So 2000, that's very likely what he's probably got. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Same gun, same car. Yeah, <laughs> which is crazy. I'm gonna like this guy. And yeah. Marine. Yeah. yeah, he's a really, he's a really cool guy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It carries the exact same, exact same gun. That's so funny. But uh, but yeah. So I mean, I really like BMWs. That's kind of the end goal, like dream car. Mm -hmm. You know, is a is a BMW. For sure. They're just nice, man. When you get inside, like, a brand new v BMW, you know? They're Absolutely. Just... And then Cadillacs. Cadillacs. Are... Cadillacs are amazing, dude. When I was car shopping, I really wanted to buy, like, a used Escalade. Yeah. But I was just thinking, oof, eight cylinders, gasoline. The gas. Yeah, that, that's what's going to get you. Plus, a brand new Escalade, like the ones that Wright L's are going for between 70 and 85 grand. And I would have never done that. They're appalling. Yeah. 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 And, like, the new one that I'm looking at right now is, uh, it's actually, believe it or not, it's a fucking, it's a, the one I'm really looking at that looks good, mm -hmm. uh, it's, was the Legacy, and then another one I'm looking at from Subaru is, uh, it's 30,000. Okay. It's the Kia Optima, uh, SX Turbo. For sure. One of the ones you see in the advertisements that it's, we're all like... Dude, it's mean. I got to test drive them both today, and it's just a mean car. It's a mean car. My bad. My phone's oh, no. connected to the Bluetooth. I'll give her a little, a little disconnect there. Yeah, but it's it's gorgeous. It's a red sedan. It's just a, a mean-looking car. Oh, hell and yeah. it picks up and go, and it's who's, like... Uh, who's your dealer? Is it Todd? Because uh, before I bought the car that I'm driving right now, I was looking at Subarus. I was looking at the WRX. And... In, it's Brent. Okay. Brent... Borcher, shout out to Brent Borcher <laughs> at Grand Forks Subaru and Kia. Absolutely, he was great. He was awesome. Was he? He was really friendly, really nice. You know, um, dude. The first thing Todd did in that Subaru, he's looking at me like I'm obviously a, a younger male, and he uh, he took us a hundred. He's like, all right, I'm gonna drive it for a little bit, and I'll let you drive on the way back. How's that sound? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And he just fucking made that thing rip, dude. Yeah, dude. That's funny because this guy was older too. Uh, probably close to 60 years old, oh, you know, and he's, sure. he's with me and I'm in the car and as I'm going down gateway, I kind of pick it up a little bit Yeah. and he's like, he's like, well, if you want to go a little fast, he's like, just 
take it to the highway and yeah. hit it. And he, and he said, don't go over 100, but give it a good... Right. And so we turned it to sport mode, brought it to wow. the highway. I didn't and even just, know it had a sport Yeah, dude, sport, and then it's got eco-friendly. Eco so it's okay. a sport... It's a turbo car, right? So it's a right. sport car. Does um, the eco-friendly turn off the turbo? Yeah, yeah. Wow, and, that's uh, genius. Well, I... I'm I'm assuming it turns off the turbo. I'm not the biggest car guy. You know, I know, I, I, know I, I don't know like hardly anything I'm talking about. But like I'm sure there's someone watching it, this like you fucking Yeah, idiot. it it ch- it changes the miles per gallon mm-hmm. that you get uh by like 6. Wow. You know, so it's significant and yeah, the, and the pickup, noticeable. Yeah, the pickup was different. You know, I kind of pressed it when we were on Gateway and it picked up a good amount and he's like, "Well, we'll take it on the highway." And we turned it to to sport once I got it on the highway and pressed. I mean, it just it giddied up. See, it's nice to yeah. know that you can do that. How yeah. often are you going to do that? I don't know. But <laughs> uh, in the summer, enough. Just today. Okay, so after I did that, I went out to eat with a buddy of mine. And then on the way back home, I'm at a stop. Did like, you get $5 some... burgers? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to the pub shout out but yeah so i uh but i was at a stoplight with this guy who was in like a 2007 malibu okay and uh you know i you know pull up next to him and you do that thing whenever you pull up next to someone you just, look, stoplight, you just look over <laughs> and they look over and he's just as big of a douchebag as i am so <laughs> he just had to gas it and i get but i'm driving Wait, this with the dealer in the car too <laughs> no no oh, okay. this is what i'm driving this is afterwards i'm okay. back in my 05 Chevy Cobalt, oh, okay. and he's, he's just in an 07 Malibu, and he just fucking brr, pulls ahead, and I'm like, I'm getting that fucking car. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, fuck this kid. <laughs> dude, I've all boys have that in them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah everybody knows the look. Yeah. <laughs> the look of like, all right, we're both going to gas it a little bit, and we'll lay off at some point, but we're definitely going to know who the winner is. Oh, yeah. I was bumping to my music, and, just bump, and I pull up, and I look over, and he's bumping to his, and the second you see that, it's like... All right, who's got the bigger dick? He did. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have, like, some straight-piped exhaust on that Malibu? It was just an 07 Malibu. Man. Okay. That's all it was. He, he wasn't, like, tweaking it or anything? It wasn't fancy. It was just better than what I have. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Story of my life, dog. I know. <laughs> what did you end up picking up? Uh, 08 Ford Taurus. Nice, dude. Yeah. yeah those, uh, those like, newer Tauruses look really nice, too. Very practical, you know? Yeah. I got yeah. that navigation, but uh, I definitely want to get the disc that updates the navigation. Yeah. The cool thing about this, some of these, like, 2018 and up, like, the Kia that I'm mm-hmm. looking at and the Legacy, they have, it's a, it's like an Apple mirror and an Android mirror. Wow. Yeah, the can, Apple mirror I would fall in love with. Yeah. Well, you're an Android guy, aren't you? I'm an Android guy. Okay. So you can put your, your cell phone navigation system on the display. You can hook it up that way. And That's goals. Google Maps or whatever Apple's. Yep. Is. I think Apple's Apple is Maps, different. I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. Which, those are way better navigation systems. And they're systems constantly than, updated, you know. Exactly. And my favorite thing is just and, asking Siri to fucking take me someplace, yeah. and she does it, dude. I hate voice commands. The series is a bad bitch. Dude, I had my phone hooked up to my... I hooked my phone up through Bluetooth, mm-hmm. and he's like, he's like, yeah, just press the voice command and say an artist or a song that you have on your... and, and tell it to play. And I'm like, uh, play Lucky You by Eminem. Play song Lucky You by and Eminem. Joyner Lucas? And it... Fu- and Joyner Lucas. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. And, and it found that song in my archive and played it. And I'm like, you don't have to pull your phone up and be doing that whole number yeah. where you're... You just press the voice command, and so I. I that's super convenient. Kind of got a hard on today. Yeah, that's amazing, know? dude. If <laughs> I could integrate just through a little USB through your phone, dude, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, no, it was it was really cool. And so. I'd much rather prefer the GPS on my phone over. I, I don't use the GPS in my vehicle. I just like the fact that I could touch the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because at some point I'm gonna start driving for Lyft and Uber again, get a little bit of extra income, and I that, promise that GPS is not gonna go to use. Yeah. It's just gonna be there. Well, when you do that, you should set up. Uh, camera in your um, in your people have entire channels dedicated. Their Uber and Lyft drivers they have entire channels dedicated to uh, the shit that goes on when they're picking wow. up drunk people and this and that. They're actually great channels. Is That's, that fair use? Can I do that to someone? All you have to do is ask them. If you get good content before they leave, be like, hey, um, I record this. And I like to put up content. Would it be okay if I used your guys? All you have to do is ask them. That's a great idea. And yeah. most people are just gonna be like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna be on the internet all the time, <laughs> all the time." And you get super good natural content. It's yeah. not forced. They don't know. You right. know, you're just kind of balling with. I bet them they'll subscribe just, too. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. And then they'll be like, "Oh, what's your channel?" They go check it out, follow, and it'd be a really cool way to make cool content and get a bunch of subscribers oh, around sure. town. And like, I will say this though, I have custom license plates coming that say vlogger. 
<laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Then you just gotta get a, uh, then you just gotta get, like, a, a decal, like, a window sticker that's yeah. got, like, your, your YouTube name, mm-hmm. and then... Well, if you've got sick. anything else, like a Twitter account or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I bet I could get one custom made for pretty cheap. People will be like, let's check out this douchebag. Yeah. And then see you snowboarding around town and be like, ah. Uh, Did you watch that? Yeah, dude, that was great. <laughs> I showed some of my buddies at work because uh, uh, one of them was just on his week off. Right now, he went up to uh, Montana to go snowboarding. Oh, hell yeah, uh, dude. Why go to Montana yeah. if you could go outside? Yeah, <laughs> and I told him, like, dude, my buddy just made a video where this last snowstorm, he's like, no, I'm like, dude, check it out, and he's like, oh, man, that's dope. That's so sweet, yeah. dude. The snow's about to start melting really quick, dude. I'm nervous for that dude, uh, river. It was melting today. I'm not, because we had a total of, in, in 97, when we peaked the flood, we had yep. a, a total of, I think it was something like, oh, fuck, 73 or 74 inches. And for those of you who don't know, when he references 97, uh, just for the people outside of my state, which is now a decent decent portion of people, which yeah, is fantastic, awesome. we're growing, but uh, flood of 97 fucked up our whole town. If you Google 97 flood Grand Forks, 97 flood Grand Forks, go to images. That was our town. It was destroyed. I, my, me and my family actually moved here the year after wow. the flood. And Got we a bought a good deal on a house. We bought a house right next to the dike, and it was dirt cheap. It was under a hundred grand. That's Three what my sto- parents did yeah, too. Yeah, two story in a basement. Yeah, our basement yeah. was destroyed when yeah. I was a kid, and they just remodeled it. And- basement and first floor. You know, over by Lincoln Park, where there's that curve yeah. where all the kids kind of yeah yeah, go, yeah yeah and and it curves into actually Lincoln Park. So kitty corner to the curve of the dike. Right there, second house in on that block was where we were living. Oh, so that's awesome. We were awesome. literally right fucking Dude, there. Dude, we were kind of close day. growing up. My family's yeah. uh, just past the golf course. And, oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, Chestnut. So, like, Chestnut and then Belmont. Yep, and we were on Belmont yeah, right there. Hell yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. It's so a was, good part of town. Oh, I want to move back down there at some absolutely, point. Absolutely, Get a house yeah. down on the south end because they're just... They're people nice. are wild down here, man. You'll yeah. hear people screaming on weekdays, just getting tart. Yeah, dude, it's a fucking college town. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> it's a fucking college. City. Absolutely, but I think we're starting to get some uh, some more problems that we didn't have before. You know? Yeah, they they've been building for the past ten years, man. Mm-hmm. These hoes. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, some of the higher income households on that side just. I don't want to say breed more respect. I just like, I don't know. Uh, they just have a different taste than people down here, I guess. On the south end? Yeah. Well, it's it's as simple as people who make money move to place it, move to wealthier houses. Right. And people who do well with money are just, I mean, it, generally better people. You know what I mean? They I know see. how to handle their money better. They know how to handle relationships because if you can, you have to be able to handle relationships to handle money because oh, if you want to make money, you need to be able to network and do well in your business, whether you're a doctor, a psychologist, an entrepreneur, a business owner, you just need to be a, a higher class person, which is one of my issues with people saying everyone should be equal and everyone should be the same. Right. No, people are not equal. People are not the same. Some people are high tier people who are really good people and really try to better themselves, and some people are pieces of shit who like to talk shit and drag everybody down. And yeah, trying oh. to equal those people out is going to create chaos. Absolutely. And there's a large portion of, of college students and many other people who think that that it's only just to equal everybody out, and that's not how society works. If the, there, this is a little Joe Rogan in me, if there is a universal base income. Uh, it should be the same for absolutely everyone. So if you're making like millions of dollars, you should still get that universal basic income. Mm-hmm. And then like you could branch off of that in Excel if you so choose to. Oh, okay. So but I'm still against universal basic income. Yeah. But if it, if it comes down to it, you know, robots are taking a good portion of the jobs. Yeah. And, you know, people aren't learning to code or uh, do, I don't know, like uh, the, the coal miners and stuff, it, you know, stuff yeah. that might necessarily necessarily not be a thriving business yeah well i mean i agree yeah it's crazy man hell yeah (laughs) so how's the social media going for uh the river cinema it's going good man we're we're working on um we're working on some stuff right now we're actually working on and i i I can't say too much we're actually going to a meeting tomorrow about it okay we're uh we're gonna talk 
more about some of the stuff that we're looking at. You know, we're looking at more at, at doing more with uh, with our mall. Okay. You know, right now it's the River Yeah, Cinema. you guys have a ton of space in there. And this I'll is still going. Little, you just gotta shake I'll just it. Give her a little wiggle. Hell yeah. Yeah, but you know, right now, like when people when people are talking about the mall, they say you know it's like the River Cinema Mall. It's actually called the River Walk Mall. And I had you know no that? clue. Nobody, no nobody clue. Nobody knows that. So we're trying to to market and brand the mall as a destination itself and kind of grow the mall now. You okay, know? that's and not so, a bad idea. The I. But also, it's a terrible idea because malls are kind of a dying business. Well, that's just it. We have to get the right stores in there. Absolutely. Because right now, like, not trying to talk a tremendous amount of shit, but like, there's, yeah. uh, there's a barber in there, right? Or you could get your hair cut there? I think they're brand new. Are they actually open now? I'm not I haven't sure. been in there for a while. Okay. Right now, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is like, you know, going to meetings, uh, doing the River Cinema page. I'm spending all my time at Crystal Sugar. Okay. You know, so. Um, but we're, you know, we're doing, you know, I, 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 shit, I haven't actually been inside there for a while, so I don't know if that barber's open yet. I know that they were moving in there. Right. Kind of where, um. And I know there's another place in there. They kind of sell, uh, like, uh, movie nostalgia items, like Hollywood fi heroes. figures and stuff like that. Yep, comic books and stuff like yep. that, t-shirts, and, and they've been doing really well for a while. Really? They've been doing really well. I suppose there is a market for that, you Yeah. Know? Yeah. And, and if you could support local business instead of buying it from some guy on eBay, why not? And if there's anywhere to put a movie memorabilia, yeah, that's a you great know, store. Location. It's right next to the. They got a great River location. Cinema does great. Actually, yeah. if they rented out some of those uh, some of those stores, you know, and some of the open space for businesses to move in, yeah. they could charge a decent price because there's such tremendous amounts of traffic going through the River Cinema yeah. each and every day, like. A movies lot. are not a dying business. No, no, not at all. And you know, I've I've got my I've got my worries and and concerns. You know, but um, for what movies? Yeah, for for movies and kind of the the future of it and and stuff like that. I mean, that, people but, have been pirating movies forever, but there's just something special about sitting down in the theater. It's very true, and a lot of people are still going out all the time, all mm -hmm. the time. People it's the go-to date, up. man. Yeah, you know, I've I've had my concerns just because I'm invested in it. Yeah, but I. People like going to the movies. Wait, you could be know? a shareholder at yeah. River Cinema? Is it publicly traded? No. Oh, okay. No. You know, uh, if you wanted to invest in, like, AMC, you could get on Robinhood. I actually... I actually just do downloaded Robinhood? Robinhood right before I came here. Invest in Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, oh, I'm... man. I just have such a personal grudge with Mark Zuckerberg. You know what? I've got some problems with the company for how they are running their social media and some of their political opinions I don't agree with, but right. the bottom line is they're going to win. You know what I mean? They're going to win. Would you think of Jack Dorsey on Joe Rogan if you saw that? I didn't. You didn't? Oh, it was it was great. Uh, they really ripped into him. Uh, is he like a Facebook employee? No, he uh, he's the creator of Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they, they had a lot of controversy. Twitter's been suffering. Yeah, Twitter they hasn't been, been doing, doing too good. well for a while. So they went on there to defend themselves, and Joe Rogan isn't necessarily in the know-how about uh, all the controversies that they've had. So he had Tim Pool assist him with that podcast, and Tim Pool is a journalist. I think he's an independent journalist, and he just ripped into him, you know, and Jack Dorsey brought a lawyer. So it was basically... Brought a lawyer to the podcast? Yeah, like uh, ex-lawyer, I guess. Can she, I say this? say that yeah <laughs> no, no, no. she pretty much said everything for jack dorsey and tim pool pretty much said everything for joe rogan and jack and joe just kind of sat there like watch those two duke it out because like jack dorsey he also uh, owns and runs the cash app and which uh, one Oh, is it called the Cash App? The Cash App, yeah. It's the same thing as Venmo. It, it, it does probably just as well. Oh, okay. That's not the one where, like, you can cash out, like, $100 before your check comes. No. Fuck those ads, No, I see ads for those all the time. Yeah, I wonder what ads. the interest is. Like, you get $100 early, pay 15 Like, that's terrible. Or the jackpot one, where it's the, the you know, the gambling jackpot one, yeah. where it's the same redhead in every commercial, mm -hmm. just every time it's a different commercial, where she jumps up and freaks out, oh my god, I want $100! What a surprise! Bitch, please, I've seen you in four different ads for the same thing, winning money in different <laughs> outfits in different locations, you fake bitch. <laughs> hey, you know how I was talking shit about um, Ty Lopez and you were defending him in the yeah. last podcast? Yeah. Uh, did you watch my interview with Goose Wayne? No. Okay. No. Goose Wayne was on uh, Dr. Phil, 
for uh, not taking off a Batman mask, and his girlfriend got pissed off at him, and he's like, well, I'm just trying to solve crime here. Is that the guy <laughs> who does, like, Bat Dad? No, no, okay. completely different guy. I love Goose, though. He's tremendous to talk to. I I actually just uh, played some Grand Theft Auto with him off-stream the and other day. And he was day. on Dr. Phil? yeah. Yeah, he was uh, he was the subject on Doctor Phil, and I it was like the first time I ever networked, and I didn't intentionally do it either. I became a Patreon of uh, Goose Wayne because I'm like, man, this guy's freaking hilarious. I shout hope out he... to Goose Wayne. Shout out to Goose Wayne. I have man. to look him up. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he, he's great, man, and yeah. I, I just hoped he went places. So I became a Patreon, and then uh, it, it, it whatever stuff just lined up, and I, I became cool with Goose, and we were talking about Ty Lopez, and actually he had some decent things to say about him too before uh goose wayne was uh goose wayne batman yeah he uh he was a motivational speaker on instagram with over 100k followers oh really yeah and then like one day he's just like yeah i want to do something else put on batman mask never took it off pissed off his girlfriend (laughs) ended up on dr phil and now he's a youtuber with over 50k subscribers oh that's awesome yeah the only negative thing he had to say about uh about Ty Lopez is that uh, the first thing he ever did was a dating website so females could meet millionaires. Ty Lopez. Yeah. Oh, I kind of heard something about yeah, that. Yeah, and that was like his scandalous thing, but apparently that's one of the only... Uh, I mean, it's a business. Yeah, but <laughs> like there was no millionaires. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just a bunch of women signed up and him and his team messaged him pretending to be millionaires that just weren't that interested. Yo. And they were paying like $15 a month or something to talk to these millionaires. If you were doing the same thing, if you were doing the same thing to, let's be honest, gold digging hoes, we've all (laughs) seen the videos, we all know they're out there, we all know it's a real thing, this is a problem. These hoes are problems, all right? Maybe a problem I'd you, have if you I'm a millionaire. You can cut it out if you want. To. No, I'm dude, I'm not gonna. This, I'm not gonna cut it out. <laughs> but but, but it, it's it is it is a problem, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. If it were me making money off of some pretty terrible people, th- th- specifically Fair. those type of Fair. people, I wouldn't feel too bad. All right, but riddle that- me this. <laughs> riddle me this though. You're a millionaire. Would you still pipe some of those pretty terrible people? You probably won't marry them because you're too socially conscious and you know what they are. You won't be played, but would you still hit it? It's really difficult to say no. Buy them some Louis Vuitton shoes? No. I definitely wouldn't go spend a bunch of money on... I mean, I'd pay for, like, dinners. But it wouldn't be a bunch like to that, you, you know? But you'd just be... Dude, it's hard to say. Maybe it's hard to say. Would you, would you hook up with chicks? If you were a millionaire, would you hook up with chicks that you knew were just interested because you've got the money? It's hard to say no. Yeah, you wouldn't. yeah it's really you know hard what to I say mean? no. Because you, you would... You know? Yeah. That's why I'm almost going to regret at some point, uh, you know, growing on YouTube a ton because I won't know which female is genuine or not. You will. You think? Yeah, because you'll run into somebody who doesn't know you or doesn't recognize you and is interested (laughs) and nice and talks to you. And then you'll ask them out. You'll go on a date. And they might see you have a nice car or this or that, you know, but like right. you'll just basically downplay it, but they'll still be interested. For sure. You know, but when somebody knows you and they're like, oh my God, I love you. But uh, I feel like one of the first... Jones, <laughs> Blockmaster. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one of the first date questions is, so what do you do? You know, it's like, oh, I'm on the internet. Downplay it. Yeah. I make videos. I make videos. I yeah. make videos online, you know. I'm a cam boy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, kind of videos and you just kind of, you just downplay it and let them... You let them take it, and you just kind of see who who they are. For sure. You know? If you were famous, would you date another famous person? Sure. Okay. I kind of feel like all famous people go to, like, the same high school. You know? Like, they all tend to, <laughs> they all tend to like, oh, like, and date each other. Like, Brad Pitt and... Oh, right? Because Brad Pitt was in the same school as Jennifer Aniston. Was it Jennifer Aniston? I know he was I don't married know. to her once. I don't know. All I know is Brad Pitt's a, it pits a beast, dude. The fucking stud, that guy. You know, there's a new movie coming out called uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah? With It's directed by Martin Scorsese. Or Quentin Tarantino. Okay. It's Quentin Tarantino So there's going to be just film. a ton of blood and violence. Dude, Quentin Tarantino, Leonardo DiCaprio, oh, wow. Brad Pitt, Al Pacino, and Margot Robbie. Who do you think's going to die in the movie? Out of all those guys. Bro, it's the next door neighbor. What do you mean? The movie's based off of the neighbor of the Marilyn Manson victims. Who is Marilyn Manson? I, I know he was a killer. 
Marilyn Manson, he didn't kill them himself, but he created the the Manson family, and yeah. he instructed them to go brutally murder. Wait, isn't this Marilyn Manson woman? the singer? Or not Marilyn Manson? Charles Manson. Yeah, Charles Manson. Yeah, Charles Charles Manson. Manson. I'm like, uh, dude, something's not adding up here. You're right. Ch Charles Manson back in the seventies. Yeah, Marilyn Manson has tits, dude. You're right. Does he now? I don't know. I Poor just guy. remember the album cover where he had some tits. But I, I think he still hits the poon, man. You know, I'd smash. He's just like Marilyn Manson. Yeah. What? It's been a while, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh sam's coming out video gang gang wait brother. that's a guy yeah marilyn manson's a guy dude wait i now i have to fact check <laughs> it's, a guy, it's a guy you're thinking of marilyn monroe no marilyn monroe's a girl marilyn manson's the dude that paints his face white and yeah sex yeah. sex rabble rabble yeah whatever it yeah, is yeah walks around <laughs> on stilts and stuff yeah Eats Beatles before Tyler the Creator was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Marilyn Manson. But I was thinking of Charles Manson. Yeah, he yeah. The Manson family and instructed these uh, people to go murder this family, you know. And, and was so he the, a cult leader? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically. I'm trying to start a cult, like a really friendly cult. I started a Patreon. You could be in my cult for $10 a month. There's no drive. There's no ambition for anything. You just get to say that you're in my cult. Is there a student discount? Is there a student discount? Yeah, dude. Eight dollars <laughs> if you're a student. Oh. But you have to prove it. You gotta send a student ID. <laughs> send a snap. <laughs> yeah. It's like great. Here's my Venmo. Yeah, dude. One hundred twenty dollars a month to be in the Vlogmasters cult, dude. That ain't too bad. No. You could donate one dollar a month and be a Jake Pauler. You could donate $5 a month and be a baby vlogger, or you could donate $10 a month and be a cult member. Or eight if you're a student. Yeah, eight if you're Any a stu student. You don't yeah, just have to be student. And then you still student. get to be in the cult. We'll take NDSU. We'll take... If you're Harvard, fuck you. What? You're not We're watching. not taking you're Harvard students? You're student? not watching this if you're in Harvard. No, nah, probably not, but maybe. No. I, I'm sure there's some bros that go to Harvard. They were just, like, really good at tennis. Yeah. Then they got in. Then Isn't they're that, watching the vlogcast. Isn't that where Zuckerberg went? I think Zuckerberg was Harvard. I think a lot of those guys went to yeah. Harvard. Where did Bill Gates drop out of? Shit, he did drop out too, yeah. He dropped out of someplace. I'm sure it was prestigious too, because that man's a genius. Yeah. Sam ain't texting, he's fact-checking. Get that straight, yeah, casters. Dude, Bill, Bill Gates. Bill Gates College. It would be kind of funny if he had his own college. Harvard. Harvard? Wow, Harvard, yeah, that's yep. what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, a lot of those guys uh, went to Harvard. You should almost look up famous people that went to Harvard. Oh, jeez, dude, so many. Uh, ben Shapiro went to Harvard. Did he really? Yeah, Ben Shapiro. I could see that. Shit, shout out to Ben Shapiro. Shout out to Ben Shapiro, dude. <laughs> One day, I want to have enough clout to just, like, sit down and chat with Ben Shapiro about nothing political, but just hang out, because he's such a funny, witty, on-the-spot character. Well, you're not going to get... Uh, if you're going to sit down and talk with him, you're going to talk some politics, you know? And he's really good he at, like... He did Cutie Pie's meme review. Did he? Yeah, he did. It was hilarious. You mentioned that a while ago, and I never checked that out. It was yeah. amazing, dude. Oh, really? Where are, you, where are you geeking at right now? Oh, just the people. 25 most famous Harvard students of all time. Um, Any of them stand well, out? Barack Obama, Al Gore. Wow. Bro <laughs> all the Democrats. Yeah, Bill Gates, Conan O'Brien. Dean Norris. Conan O'Brien's a huge oh, car guy. Oh, Dean Norris was the dude in, in Breaking Bad. The dude that... Oh, he was Hank in Breaking he Bad. He was Hank in Breaking Bad. Yeah. Spoiler Hank alert. Breaking Bad went to Harvard and He's... then decided to be an actor. Because I'm pretty sure you don't go to acting school at Harvard, so I almost want to know what he graduated for. Franklin Roosevelt, George Bush. Oh, what he graduated? Can you imagine that? Spending Dean like... Norris, best known for his role as Hank Schrader on the show Breaking Bad. <laughs> Graduated in 1985 with a concentration in social studies. Social studies. Wow. Right. That's why he's he such a good detective. First member of his of his uh, family to attend college. Franklin Roosevelt went. George Bush. Uh, Henry Kissinger. Dude, what was his wife in that movie? Because she always pissed me off. Dude, she was the Lorraine or something? Worst. Was it Lorraine? Yo, that show. I think it's Lorraine, dude. It was a great show, though. It's phenomenal. It's one of those shows you could rewatch. No, absolutely. I haven't, though, for a while. You want to know another show you could rewatch that's great? Oh, Wilfred. Man. It's about that... Oh, yeah, dude, have you, seen, have you seen the American and the Australian version? I haven't seen the Australian version. It's... I don't want to be the guy to say, like, 
the it's original better. is better, but the original is better. Okay. It's okay. like unedited, right? So it's not Americanized. So they say the F word. They show nudity. It's unedited. Okay. So the humor is, it kind of goes further right. than, than the original. It's no. not something you'd watch with the yeah. folks. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't look as professional, but it's funny as shit, dude. It's oh, good. for sure. Yeah. I'm going to give this a little shaky and grab the jewel ski. I'm sure she got a little charge in her, eh? Just a little bit. Hell yeah. Uh, what's your f- favorite pod? I guess Mango went away, but you can include that too. I liked I liked Pod. I um I actually caved a couple months back and I went and bought a jewel yeah. that came with the four pods and I smoked through the four pods and what, I what pack it. did you get though? What was your favorite like flavor? The tobacco was dog shit. Well yeah, obviously it was horrible. But That's it was why just, we don't smoke it cigarettes. Was just the variety pa- I asked if they had mango and they're like, We don't sell mango. The only way to get mango is if you get the variety pack. Wow. So I punched him. <laughs> <laughs> but the variety was... So I... God, that was quick. I like that. <laughs> it was it was mango. One was mango. One was menthol. One was tobacco. And the other one was like mint or something so like that. So you just that. went through... I like mint. That's This is mint. It's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mint's the only one that I like that they still sell locally. I, I've been uh, I've been thinking about ordering a ton of mango pods and then just selling them like I was a trap lord. Because you could still get them online. Yeah. And, like, you could sling mango pods, too. I bet that's not even, like, a big crime. So they just made it illegal to sell at... Just convenience stores. At convenience stores. Okay, but you could get them if you went to, like, a vape shop? Uh, you could get loon pods if you went to the vape shop. I don't know if you could... I think they really cracked down on Jewel because they saw how popular it was and they just wanted to stick it to them. Oh, my God, a better, healthy... Yo, did you see this new... I saw an ad... It's a new vape, right? Mm-hmm. But in, it, there's no nicotine. It's it's uh, vitamins. Oh, that's genius. It's vitamins. Does it taste like the Flintstone I've, vitamins? I wanted to buy one. I assume it's because it's shocky. healthy, <laughs> it's going to be like $100 to get oh. one. I assume it's going to be expensive. Yeah. I saw the ad, and I wanted to click on one and buy one. But there's no nicotine. There's nothing. But It's vit- It's how you can get vitamin C or d- whatever you are missing. And you want to see the vitamins I'm taking? Fucking smoke it. Yeah, dude. I take multivitamins, but I don't. Oh, that's exactly what this is. It's a yeah. uh, men's multivitamin. I just get them on Amazon. They oh, ship to my house. Yeah. Uh, I get one bottle every two months. It's supposed to be one bottle a month, but a lot of days I forget, and sometimes I take too much, and it just turns my pee neon yellow. Does it? Yeah, I just get a little too much vitamin B, and yeah, I'll do it. I had to look it up, dude. I'm like, oh my god, am I dying? My piss looks like fucking Gatorade, and it's like, the internet's like, nah, dude, you're fine. I'm like, thank you, Reddit. It's too many, too many vitamins. Too many vitamins, too, too much vitamin D, right? Yeah, man. I have a problem with that every morning. <laughs> okay, no. I don't know why that took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how was your VR poker game going? <laughs> Not good. Not good. How Not many... good. No, I didn't make a lot of friends. What? Oh yeah, <laughs> it just started off with a lot of shit talking. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's kind of funny because when you put on the headset, like you're in a room with people. Yeah. The only difference is if you piss them off, they can't hit you. Yeah. Well, they try. Do they? Do they, like, throw some VR fists? You little fag. And they slap their little hands. Were they upset? <laughs> they were just talking <laughs> shit. Yeah. No, but it's it's fun, because you can, like, you know, you can look somebody down. Yeah. Well, I haven't, I haven't even gotten online. I haven't played in, like, a week and a half. You know? Oh, she's blinking. I don't think we plugged her in the right way. Make sure she uh, she starts uh, pulsing Maybe white. This just isn't giving a good charge. Have you charged it here before? I always charge it there. Oh, okay. It's just sometimes it doesn't charge good there. You just got to make sure it starts doing that. There we are. We're good. Okay. We're good. Give her another 10 minutes. I bet we'll get a couple good Ripperdales out of her, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Ripperdales. <laughs> Ripperdales, dude. Rippendales with Chippendales. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking you eat at any good restaurants lately? Besides the hub, Burger Night? Last few places I went were like the Hub. Um, I've I've actually gone to uh, um, the K by myself before work really? a couple times because I've just like gotten up right. I work at eight. I'll work at if I work at eight p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah, you know I'll like I'll be up at like four and just be like sitting around and be like, shit, dude, I want some wings. Yeah, and so I'll go there and, and get some wings. Uh, the only downside then, is the wait's always so long. Yo, I went there after work one day, and uh, 
they lost my ticket somehow. Oh, wow. So I had ordered three beers full full, and, like, of, dude. food, and they had lost my ticket somehow, so they just gave me everything for free. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I retract my statement. Right? Like, all, all the food, 20, 20 something dollars worth of food, all, all three beers. So, like, you're good, man. That place <laughs> is like a Grand Forks classic. We yeah. have that, the Red Pepper, and Darcy's Cafe, I think. Yeah. And maybe uh, the, the Denny's Bar. No, uh. Fuck Denny's. Not like Denny's Breakfast. But I like got some the, mean shits at Denny's once. The bar? When I went out. To, no, the. The restaurant? Yeah. I when used I to went work there at to Denny's. Eat with Patrick. My and... first vlog was me working at Denny's. Throwback. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you went with Pat. Yeah, I almost shit in his car. Really? As we were walking out of Denny's, I looked at him and said, Patrick, I'm not shitting in there. <laughs> we're aiming for your house, but I might shit in your car. That ain't bad, and it was dude. so close. It was one of the closest I've ever gotten to shitting my pants. The busboys keep, uh, keep that bathroom clean, man. Autumn will crack down on them. Maybe I should have just... Maybe I should have just gone there. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta commit, dude. But toilet paper's always trash anywhere you go. Yo. It's like, if you think I'm fucking leaving a s sticky ass mm -hmm. and and paper bits in my crack, yo. Dude, you want I gotta it? deal with ass hair enough. You, you want, know what I mean? That's ready, enough. You ready for this to get really dark? Yeah. One time, uh, a man's wife died in the Denny's bathroom. That Denny's bathroom? Yeah. Woman's bathroom. That's a terrible story to How tell. How mean of a shit no, I don't even do think you have she, to take? I don't think she made it to the bathroom. To just lose your soul. Right. There's got to be a mean shit. Right. That's a testimony to their food, if right. I've ever heard it. <sighs> yeah, Cody, cook better food, you fucker. Piece of shit. I'm just kidding. Cody. I don't think Cody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Cody will be there forever. So will Bree. Sup, Bree. I like Bree a lot. Shout out to Bree. Shout out Bree. Shout out Cody. Oh, Shout guys. out Dan. I don't know if Dan's still there. Dan's a, generic names. Dan's a good cook. Bree, Cody, Dan, yeah. Connor. Hell yeah. Have you ever worked at a restaurant where felons weren't in the back house? No. I feel like that's just kind of how that goes. I I'm not. I'm not calling all these guys felons. I'm. I'm sure some of them don't have felonies, but the vast majority of every restaurant I've worked at, felons are in the back cooking food. Not all kitchens or not all kitchen staff are felons. But all kitchens have felons. Yes. Like, front of house, the servers are usually younger college students or MILFs who have a husband who's halfway taking care of the family so they could just serve. Yeah. But serving's actually... I feel like serving's some of the most money you can make without a college degree, depending on the day. If it's a banging day, dude, you could get, like, $22 an hour. Well, you know, these... uh waitresses over at like blue moose and whatnot are getting oh, paid yeah. the minimum wage which is like, like actual minimum wage yeah when i worked at uh denny's i was yeah. getting 486 yeah. an hour and they're getting outstanding tips over there mm -hmm. i mean on a weekend night you know on like Do a I'd, saturday they could walk away with 400 dollars in tips i'd give some of those waitresses an outstanding tip <laughs> more like an upstanding tip yeah dude i'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, whatever that joke is, you crack yeah. to the, like the whatever something. Man, there was this cute chick. There was this really cutie at uh, at uh, at the hub. Yeah. That uh, is she blonde hair? No, brunette. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you don't think she's as attractive as I do. Yeah. No, she was really, she was really, like sweet and nice, and yeah. I, I didn't ask for her number or anything because I'm a little bitch. Well, Next the time. the thing <laughs> is, the thing is, when you sign the receipt, you just put your number on it too. Yeah. Well, I didn't even think it. Like, she was nice, and, like, we joked a little bit, because I was sitting there with my buddy and then his fiance. Mm -hmm. And then once we left, they were like, dude, you should ask for a number. She was really friendly to you. And I was like, man, <laughs> like, yeah. it's too late. I'm just going to go like, back in there you... and be like, hey, well, come she, here. She'd probably appreciate the effort. <laughs> what's, what's your number? <laughs> One time uh, I went to Valley Dairy to, uh, to fill up gas, and I went inside and... The, this uh the girl at the counter was just super hot dude and like we were just kind of like eyeing each other and uh when i left i'm like god damn it i'm a pussy uh, i'm like i'm just calling i i called the valley dairy and like uh i i got her number or i gave her my number i'm like hey i was just in there if you remember me you know take my number off the caller id and, and she did and we ended up fucking for like two months but i just wasn't ready to commit for a relationship so i, I kind of blew that one you broke her heart 
Yeah, but she moved on pretty quick. She was a badass, dude. Her name was Raven. Raven. That yeah. sounds it sounds like a badass name. Yeah, she's like yay tall, but just like, you know, she'd probably kick my ass even. Hmm. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. But, you know, if she was really angry, maybe. Yeah. But you can always just kind of like... <laughs> just like... Bring down to the guy. Like, harder, just like, whoa there. Whoa there. <laughs> you need to chill, dude. <laughs> Aren't you just cute? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. Oh. <laughs> I actually saw her just a little bit ago because she left a bunch of uh, DVDs at my house that I kept forgetting to give back to her. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she got them back, and she drives, like, this big F-150 now. It totally fits her personality. Oh, I bet. Just yeah. big personality, yep. big truck. 100%. Big dick. I, d- <laughs> I doubt Raven's watching right now, but shout-out to Raven, yo. Shout-out to Raven. You're a cute girl. I'm a bad guy. You know? Bad boys. I was actually recently single when that happened. I think I, like, uh, you know, I just wasn't uh, I wasn't ready for that commitment again. Yeah. No, I feel that. Oh, he- heavily, dude. Yeah, man. How long, uh, how long does it take you to move on after a breakup? Depends. On the circumstances, or, like, who dumped who? On the circumstances, really. Because... Yeah, no, because, like, I've... Deep I've question. Been, Philosophical questions yeah, on no, the I mean, I've, tonight. I've been dumped and gotten over things really quick, and then I've dumped, and it's been... And then I've dumped, and it's been... And it takes forever to get over. And I, it's it's really circumstantial, you know? Literally just one thing can just click. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it could be... Oh, shit, the... The worst one, the worst one was probably my first, like, long-term relationship. Okay. Because I was just ignorant. I didn't know. And she was this huge cheater. She just cheated all the time. I, I know who you're talking about. I don't and know if you want to name drop, but you can on the broadcast. You don't. Her name's Brittany. Oh, no, yeah, I don't. Not, I, I was yeah, assuming not, no. uh, blonde hair. No, I started, I started dating her when I was, like, 16, and we were on and off for a while. And she was just this huge cheater. But she was, like, really sweet and really nice, and she was really easy to talk to. She wasn't crazy. She didn't scream and fight. Like, she wasn't this huge temper. T- she was just really chill. She was just a hoe. And okay. fucked all my bros. Oh, and that no. was re- all, dude, bro, all of them, man. When I was working at Taco John's, I would be, I would be at work. I had to walk to work when I was 17. You know, we had an apartment together with yeah. a buddy of mine and I would walk to work, um, in the freezing cold to work full time at a fucking Taco John's yeah. so that I could pay for our part of the rent. And while I was at work, she'd be fucking my roommate. Wow, yeah, dude. dude. And he and she, he was actually her ex from years prior, and he she, was still in love with her, and she was just a hoe. And, wow. And, and then she slept with a bunch of other people, but that was really hard. That was super... Did you forgive any of your friends after that? No, I still don't talk to them. I wouldn't have talked to yeah. him ever again. Yeah, you? no. I, uh... Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm sorry to but get then, that deep with it, dog. But then, you know, I mean... All the long-term relationships I've had, the girls that I've had, have fucked many of my friends because they're just those kind of girls. Prior or after? Both. Dude, I'm sticking out of town, Both. bitches, bruh. Yeah. Dude, they're just... They're just trash... Dude, uh, I'm not gonna say women are trashy. I pick trashy girls because I'm uh, clearly subconsciously addicted to dysfunction. You know what I mean? Like, I can't blame it on all women, but the women I've had have been just some trashy, horrible, just slutty women. (laughs) They've been really bad. Some of them have been really... Not all of them. Not all of them. You know, I had... uh, my Just my last relationship was pretty short. Okay. She was really sweet. It just... You just, you know. The personalities didn't click. Yeah, yeah, but she was really nice. I, like, I liked her. Huh? A little liberal? No. No. She was just she was a good girl. Okay. Yeah, you know her. Yeah. Oh, I gotta say names. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, she, she but she was sweet. You know, yeah. she was she was nice. So but it just wasn't, you know. Yeah, for sure. It just like yeah. something didn't feel right. Yeah. You know. You know, maybe you'll be able to resume someday. Uh, probably not. For sure. I don't know. Just something to think about. Yeah. I have, but mm, probably not. For sure. Yeah. You got uh, you got big things going on, you know? Yeah, man. And speaking of big things, you should be streaming more. Oh, man. I just... It's hard Sam to find Sam has an actual audience on Twitch, and then he works super hard to develop that audience on Twitch, and then he shot himself in the foot. Bro, I got like 70 followers. 
Well, that's that, really good. That audience is... It's tiny, but, like, if in the grand scheme of Twitch, dude, think of how many people don't have a follower and they stream all day. I stream when I'm... When I'm playing something that's even mildly streamable. Okay. When I'm doing VR, I usually don't. Although I should. All I need to do... People love VR content. It's man. just... You bought the VR4 content, and because I was getting one. You're right. Well, I I wanted... The main reason I got a PC was because of VR. Because I okay. went over to Patrick's and I tried it. And I was like, oh, it's amazing, dope. dude. So I got the PC, had the PC for a while, and then... You want to grab the jewel while you're up there? I do want to grab the jewel, actually. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you got the PC... And then a few months after that, uh, Did it rip? yeah. Okay. A few months after that, I got uh, I got the VR system, which is one of the one of the many reasons I'm investing in Facebook stock right now because I think that when the Quest comes out, I think it's going to be huge. I think it's going to be really big. Um, but also, they're not monetizing a lot of. Uh, you know, they're they're the second biggest marketplace in the world, Instagram and Facebook, second to to uh, Amazon and um, online marketplace, and they aren't taking any percentage off of sales made on their platforms. Really? The second they start making a uh, taking they put monetizing it back in their that, company? bro. The second they start monetizing sales made on their platforms on Instagram and Facebook, their stock is going to jump fifty percent. You know, so I'm like, Dang. you know what I mean? You, you've like, been telling me to invest in Facebook for a while. Dude, I just, I'm so serious. I they don't want to some invest the... in a company that's run by a lizard, dude. Yeah, he's weird, he, but he's he's got a goal. He sticks to it. Did you ever watch his too. one live stream he did where he just wouldn't stop talking about the meats that he's cooking in his backyard? <laughs> I saw some <laughs> of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. there's a there's a beautiful video made by someone I don't know the name of, and they took the time to crop and edit every time Mark Zuckerberg talked about cooking meat. Yeah. Or smoking meat. It was smoking meat. It's like, yeah, we got some briskets, dude. Are you cooking briskets? I'm cooking briskets. Anyone should be cooking briskets on a live stream. I'm Mark Zucker. It's like he didn't know how to be social. You could tell he was, he must have been drunk. Oh. Yeah, he's already, like, I wouldn't say antisocial because antisocial comes with a laundry list of, like, violent or Maybe socially unaware, you think? So Very socially awkward. Yeah. Maybe mildly autistic. Okay. No, I could see that because he's a genius. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's probably just really academic in not as much social. Which is amazing because what he's a professional at is, social is, media. is studying the behaviors of people specifically on social media and creating a platform that follows their behavior specifically. It's all about how people interact with social media and making it better and easier and more interactable for them. And he's a he's brilliant at it. But in just communicating yeah. and talking, it's kind of... Dude, did you watch the memes of him in court just sipping on his water? Yes. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> like the one with uh, Donald Trump where it's just him sniffing yeah dude I love that hey let's talk about this because Trump just pissed me off recently dude oh no and uh you know there's a lot of things that he does that pisses a lot of people off but this one really hit me uh he is tr threatening Saturday Night Live for impersonating him like dude that's uh for a that's a first amendment for Oh, Alec Baldwin? Yeah. He's mad at he's mad at them for like making fun of him all the time. It's just like when is Saturday Night Live? Obviously they lean left, but when have they not made fun of any political figure? You know? Yeah, they've made fun like, of Like they everybody. have that right, dude. They never made they never really Well, you got to think about it. when they mocked Obama. Mm. It was like how he was like really cool, and yeah. Like the lady, and they made him they made him cooler than he was. And I more suppose hip and this and that, and I they were pretty brutal with Hillary Clinton. Yeah, really brutal with Trump, you know. And and but they're kind of brutal with Bernie too. Yeah, Bernie's crazy. But dude, I can't believe he's running, bro. Did you hear he just cracked his head walking out of the shower? <sighs> like he has like seven stitches in his forehead, man. I'm not surprised. It's like that's. Did you did you watch? God uh, bless Bernie. The he's, he cares about people, but State of the Union address. It was wonderful. It was awesome. It, it was my favorite that uh, all the ladies in white didn't clap for anything. Alexandria Cortez, fuck her. I don't know her. One of the chicks in white that was just really 
She's the youngest woman elected to uh, elected to Congress. She's okay. got a seat in Congress. She just got it. She's 28 years old. Wow. She's a complete socialist. Um, uh, you know, believes in communism, taking money from the wealthy, taxing them up to 90% and more, and distrib- redistributing it. Uh, I think it's good that we have care. both sides in there, though, because it's really easy to point out why she's crazy. Yeah. Like, just watching the State of the Union and all the stuff they didn't clap for, which was beneficial to everyone, and then the stuff that, like, they didn't clap for black unemployment, but they clapped for women's unemployment. Like, doesn't that just speak numbers? They, it does. They, he was making some really good points and saying some really great things that were being done, and they just didn't want to clap for the sole fact that they didn't like him. Right. And that's, and that's the main thing. People are like, I don't like him. Okay, but what, what policies do you disagree with? The second you get to policy, they'll some say something vague like, oh, the wall, the wall is is wrong and it's racist and this and that, and you'll hit them do with a laundry list up? of. Huh? Do you think it's going absolutely. up? Absolutely. I think yeah, maybe. Absolutely. I think maybe. Uh, do you want to bet a little money on it? 50 bucks. I'll put $5 on it cuz it's fun. 20? Well, how much of a wall? We're not going to by the time it's up, we're not even going to remember this, but the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. They're, yeah, I'll put $20 on that yeah. cuz right now they put some wall up in uh key areas, but it's like, yeah, it's like you can't just walk around the wall. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, they'll he'll he'll get the whole wall. Okay. Yeah. Cuz he already uh oh, there it goes, man. I got tinnitus. Tinnitus? And um I don't even know what that means. In my ears. It's uh it's ringing in the ears. Oh, okay. You I've shoot got, too much? I've got one in each it, loud music from when I was younger. I'm guessing. Okay. I'm working a loud fa- I'll it has been going on for... I got... There's two different kinds. I've got one in each here. Wow. One is ringing where it goes... You ever watch a movie and a grenade goes off and it's like... Bing, bing. Yeah, you get flash banged or something. It does that in one ear. It'll just randomly go out and just ring for about a minute. And really? And the other one is pulsing and it feels like... Do they both like do it simultaneously? Just, yeah. What, and My ears are fucked. <laughs> when does it come back? Um, well, I can I can still hear. It's just super noticeable. Like right okay. now, the ringing has already gone away. Right. The pulsating tinnitus is much more frequent. You know, it'll. It's. I mean, fifty percent of the time, it's just. It It feels. It sounds like a wow. heartbeat in my ear. Are you sure you don't have some fluid in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because sometimes if I if I get too much uh, fluid in my ear, you can like hear your fucking brain work. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's like what's going on in I'm there, man? Too like, hard, man. Kemmer just uh, texted me. Sup? I was gonna say pod. Sup, dude. <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> Come whenever. I don't even know when we started this, but we'll probably uh, we'll probably get over an hour or something, you know. Get some time in. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what are you doing for hobbies lately? For what? For hobbies lately. Like, you have a week off. What do you do to unwind and do Sam things besides PC it up? Man. That's a good question. Should be streaming. No, I I get, I get some streaming in, you know, mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but, you know. You talking to any ladies? Not really. I think, uh couple months ago you said you were taking some girl out on a date didn't go well how so well there's different it, ideologies f- yeah dude f- rule number one especially on a first date don't talk about politics oh absolutely and i'm a pretty political guy right yeah. I'm, I'm pretty opinionated i'm, I'm very conservative and uh, she wanted to talk about politics. Oh, she so was she just, instigated it. Bro, for sure. She was a self-proclaimed communist. Oh, I think we actually supported, got into this on the first podcast. Yeah, okay, yeah. Supported Marxism. It was just it was just terrible, you yeah. know? And, and that's what you... And just that's, asking. It turned into a dinner table debate. So you don't think that we should tax the rich more than we're taxing them? No, I no, don't. No, if you you're tax the rich more, so then leave. So you're, you're against a, abortion, and that's another thing... That we, it's like yes, I'm against. I think it's murder. It, it, either you think it's murder or you right. don't. You know what I mean? Like, I will say this though. I bought a girl Plan B a week ago. Is that murder? I don't think so. I don't think because Plan B only I'm, works if you get it immediately. I'm, now there's some people who will disagree. They think the I, second the embryo connects with sperm, the second a form, you know. Let me say this. I'm the, pretty. Hey. I, I did pull out, but it's like she forgot to take her pill that day, and I just wanted to be sure. I never pull out. 
What? I'm an idiot. Dude. The fact right. that I don't have a kid is a fucking miracle. Maybe you just talk to all the girls that are on the rod or the shot. You most know? of them, yeah. Most of them are. Yeah. I've, that's a good thing, you know? There was one girl. There was one girl. I trust the like rod or the shot way more than the pill. I, yeah, there was one girl like a year and a half back that I, I don't know why I didn't ask her beforehand. I usually do. Mm-hmm. But I just fucking... Bah! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yo, and... Uh, and then when I was done, I was like, oh, you know, laying there. And she's just laying there. And, and then that's when I ask him, like, you're on birth control, right? And she's oh. like, no. Oh, man. Oh, Did no. you get plan B? Because um, that, that... I, when I drove her home the next day, I wanted, I was like, I was like, I'll pick you. She's like, no, I'll get it. I'll run in and I'll get it and this and that. And Apparently she didn't because, like, four months later, she texted me she was pregnant. What? She wasn't. She ended up getting pregnant shortly after. But she wasn't. She was just trying to... She, well, she Settle down? I don't know. It's like, I have your kid, we're gonna get married. Something like that. Or just to get a time, maybe she was having a hard time. And, you know, girls will do that, you know? They'll try and tell a guy... Girls girls do some fucked up stuff. Yeah, they do. You know, they do some really fucked up stuff, man. Come but to think of it, I did Super manipulative. Not all women, again, but fuck. I'm telling you, guys don't do this manipulative, mind fucky shit. Guys do some stupid shit. She told you she was going to yeah. get the pill, and then she did it. And then she didn't, and then months later she told me that she was pregnant, and that it was my baby, and she hadn't had sex with anybody else, and so what? I'm freaking out, and yeah. she's like, well, you're the dad, so you better... And she wasn't pregnant. She was never pregnant. It was just a... She wanted some attention? Attention uh, to maybe not feel alone, because she had just recently gone through a big breakup, you know, or this or that, but just some, just some crazy How shit. About, hey, do you want to hang out? I'm having a rough day. Yo, yeah, let's hang, like, be straight up and normal, you know, I never, after that, never wanted to see her again. Of course, like, why would I never you? wanted to see her again, couldn't, I, I've gotten her out of my life, but How if she you wanted find to out hang she was out, lying? um, well, she said, like, six months in, and she wouldn't see me, right, yeah. she wouldn't ever, so I'm like, well, let's, t-, you know, she wouldn't see me or anything, didn't want to see me or anything, I'm like, well, we need to talk about this, and, like, six months in, she's like, Oh, I had a miscarriage. Wow. I had a miscarriage. Dude, next time I buy a girl, plan B, I'm watching her take it. Because I dropped this off in her mailbox. You know how many women, if they watch this, are going to fucking hate it? They're going to be like, it's a women's right to... Well, yeah, but... It's not! It's it's my body! It's not your body! It's another person's body! It's a completely separate DNA entirely! There are women that have to take medication so that their body doesn't kill the baby inside of them because their body sees it as a as another life form as a threat and so it tries to kill off their baby is that true that's a very true thing there are women that have to take medication so that their body doesn't kill what's growing inside of them because it sees it as a foreign life it is not your body it's a completely different dna from head to toe the second it becomes a, a even a tiny little fetus it's dna strand saying what hair color it's gonna have it's it's pattern of hair um it's eye color how tall it's gonna be how short it's gonna be everything skin pigment everything about that fucking thing is there immediately and you think it's your fucking body you think it's your fucking body you're a piece of shit is what you are sorry you're good yeah you don't have to put that in there no it's all going i just i just i just get it's like it's disgusting that women get together they're so hell-bent on that women's rights are under attack that they rally together with this abortion idea that it's a women's right issue. It's not a women's right issue. It's a human right, and you're killing it in the in the with the mask of women's right. It's murder, you fucking crazy, horrible people. It's genocide so on a bigger scale than Nazis murdered wait. Jews. It's fucking murder. I in an unreal scale. That. How many babies are aborted? Because I feel like that's just a stat. You hundreds of thousands annually. Okay. Many hundreds of thousands annually. It's more more babies have been aborted than Jews died in the Holocaust in the last ten years. It's staggering. All right, just to pick your brain just a little bit. Yeah. When, uh, when you she... can edit any of this. Too, no, if you don't want you're... like like. Uh, but I'll I don't fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it raw. But uh, when she said she was pregnant, okay, did you think of abortion? Oh man, be honest. I thought about it. 
See, there you go. You got to put yourself in that position. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. like, you don't like her at all. And think of how many women don't like these guys at all. Yeah. And that's... I, I'm very pro-adoption. Yeah. But it's just like, once you're in that position, it's like, oof. Yeah. But the thing is, is... There's a lot that comes with regret. When you make a bad decision, when you do something dumb. For a guy, me, or the girl that gets pregnant. See... When a girl gets pregnant, it's it's not just the girl. Yeah. Okay, a guy... It's not like has you, to ho. Fix that. A guy, even if you don't go after a man for alimony, you know, or or child support, the state's going to go after them. No matter what, a tremendous amount of money is going to be taken from him. And if he's any give-a-fuck kind of a person, he's going to want to be involved in that child's life. Right. So it's changing his life forever, and it's changing her life. Could you ever be a sperm There's, donor? I mean, I, I could... But, well, but right, you like, gotta, obviously I could too, but, like, what, do you have it in you, do you think? Sure. To know you have, like, you could nut for a couple hundred dollars and just know you have a bunch of mini-us walking around? Yeah, I don't think it would, but, I mean, I wouldn't do it just because, like, I, I don't need money that bad. Right. But I wouldn't have a problem with it, you know, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd want to think about having kids that don't know their dad. Anyhow, but, you know, my, my only point is, like, when you're a guy or a girl, you make a mistake and a baby comes, you're going to have that thought. And that's a normal thought to have that thought where you think, man, we could go back. Maybe we could. That's a that's a thought that happens. Even before abortion was illegal, it's like, man, what if we can. It's it's normal to have to be scared. My personal but you have opinion? to deal with that as an adult. You have to deal with that. You have to be like. My personal opinion, I think you should have six weeks to make up your mind. It's hard to put a time frame on it. It's definitely not months into the future. And that's true. That's an, I think that's an argument that can be had. I you think know, so. what's, I think what's six the weeks time frame? I think, I think... Did you watch Alex Jones on Joe Rogan's podcast? Yeah. Did you hear him talking about uh, that Southern governor... It was post birth Ter abortion they're actually doing that yeah that's yeah. that's extraordinarily fucked up yeah. like if you're already uh born you know and then you decide after they're born like oh, i don't like the look of this one yeah that's that's terrible but like my personal opinion uh is i think six weeks is fair to make a decision i don't and there's no way you don't already not know you're pregnant by six weeks like you've missed a pregnancy or you've missed a period you could take yeah. a pregnancy test I think I think six weeks is a, a lot of girls wouldn't know at six weeks because of a lot of birth control and whatnot has their periods coming at different times or sometimes they That's only true. get like spotting you know or don't at all you know and every every girl's different so it can be it can be difficult to know to know when when they're pregnant especially with birth control For and sure. stuff like that so I don't know I mean I I get it and I empathize with the with the fear because I've felt the fear but in the end you can't you can't kill somebody or something because you're scared I hear that unless it's a piece of shit like if it comes out crying you already, you already know it's gonna be a shitty kid you might well put it down I think every kid like, comes out Jesus crying. already with the bitching <laughs> like like we just met what yo, a terrible first wow. impression poor attitude god Boom. damn it yeah adopt <laughs> 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 that's <laughs> fucked you, you been to any good water parks lately no this is North Dakota have yeah. you no no, just the Canada, and I went to Raging Waters in uh, Wisconsin, like, one time. Okay. If that is Raging Waters. Whatever, like, w Wisconsin Dells. I've been there before, but, like, I haven't, like... You been to any, like, good theme parks? Like, amusement attractions or anything? Oh, man, when I was 13, I went to Six Flags in Houston, Texas. The Six Flags is dope. That was sweet. First time ever riding a roller coaster. And you were just addicted, or you hated yeah. it? Well, I went to, um... I didn't really, I never really knew my biological dad, so my older brother got in contact with him Wow. Um, when I was 13, 14 years old, and he drove up from Texas what to you? meet us, and then brought us back, me, my brother, and my sister, because we were all his kids, um, 
and then brought us back. So I, had, I hadn't seen him since I was like four, so I didn't remember him at all. Right. So like ten years later, you know, we reunite, no talking or anything in that time. And so we reunite, went down, and he had started a new family. He had, uh, he had two other kids by then, so we got to meet our, our half-siblings, wow. you know, and he brought us to... Did he cry, or, like, what was that like for him? I remember he was really happy to see us. I don't remember if he cried or not. I'm sure he did. I was young, yeah. you know, but he, he took us to Six Flags. Have you spoken since? Uh, very little. Okay. Very little. Um, you know, he's... So that must be tough. That's why I asked you about, like, if you'd ever be a sperm donor, because it must be tough knowing that, like, there's... Not a carbon copy, but, like, somewhat of a carbon copy of you walking around someplace. You know, I might... I might double-think it just because... Of my mentality. It's like, that can't be easy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, you know... Somebody's mentality, their mental... Mm-hmm. It's a lot... A tremendous amount of it is genetic. Okay. And so, you know, some people do well managing the world and some people do very very poorly okay and i've had some big struggles and i've i've thrived and i've fallen and i i've done a lot of work to do as well as i can do you think you'd be a good parent yeah okay yeah well there you go yeah absolutely i don't i don't think once you got in that lobby i don't think you'd be a sperm donor yeah only reason is because if if somebody's getting a sperm donor they really want a child. Yeah. You know? And the, I guess the reason I probably wouldn't do it is because there's already plenty of people who are doing it. You know what I mean? And those people are going to find the sperm that they want. And it's like, I just I just don't need to You don't need to be bucks. a part of that pool. Yeah. Yeah. But I would. Like, if somebody needed it, if a friend, like, came up to me and was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I really want to have kids and I... I need you to jerk clicking. off in this cup real quick. I'm not clicking with I'd, anyone. I'd, I'd bump that bitch's fist and be like, give me give me ten minutes. You know what? Give me five minutes. I thought minutes. you were going to say, give me ten dollars. <laughs> like, for you, give me five minutes. I'll go fill this cup up. Yeah. I would well, have... I'll put some stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> I might not fill the cup. Right. Would but... you be a part of that kid's life at all? If they wanted me to. Right. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be responsible for like you know alimony or the, and that and that would be a thing you know mm-hmm. it's like it's not it's an interesting can you be can they get you for child support if there's not like documentation say it was just a personal friend who asked you for some cum and then they used that and like there wasn't a written agreement and then they're like oof I'm gonna need some child support they absolutely can because they've already hit people who have been spurned donor donors for child support in one wow. Yeah. Like legally through the system. That know? doesn't make. You sense. should you should look that up. That's some crazy shit. Yeah. Well, we'll just know that it exists. Yeah, that's horrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They hit a, a sperm donor for child support and won. That's Dead a serious. I'm not kidding. Dirt move. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. That's a dirt move. Well, fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna see if Cameron's coming because we've already probably done like an hour and a half. Fuck yeah. Easy, dude. We've just been we've been going. Got some good topics out of the way. Oh, absolutely. Some intense topics out of the yeah, way. My people are gonna be salty about that abortion stuff. No, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think we kind of gave both sides. Yeah. What's up, buddy? What's are you up, coming buddy? or no? Because we're we're probably gonna wrap this. Um, Aaron and I are probably gonna take like one more shot, then uh, we're both gonna come up. Uh-huh. Hey, bring a shot. Bring bring a couple shots. What's up? K- Keister them. Yeah, yeah. Bring a couple shots. Dude, we can't leave with the shot. Come on, bro, just uh, we'll, keister we'll, them. We'll take one more and then we'll come up there. Alright, alright. <sighs> so, how are your cats doing? Great. Great? They're how good. many do you have? You have like three or something. Yeah, three cats. Three fucking cats, three. dude. You know what's funny? You live in a trailer, too. You're a crazy cat lady. Oh, wow. Yeah, you ever think about it that <laughs> way? I'm a crazy cat, man, dude. Yeah. Well, it was just two. And then Patches, did you hear the story about how I got the third? No. Two's enough. Okay. And the third one, this is when I was still working at the theater, an, em- uh, an employee showed up one day with this cat that was four weeks old. They don't sell them until they're six weeks because yeah. they're too young to be separated from their mother at four mm-hmm. weeks. It was four weeks old. She was driving on the highway on the way to work, 
and at 65 miles an hour, she saw what looked like two cats being thrown out of a window at 65 miles an hour. Oh, my God. She pulled over, and... Uh, what the fuck? She couldn't find one of them, but she found one of them. It was in the ditch trying to keep its head above water, four weeks old. And she pulled it out of the water. She couldn't find the other one. She brought it. Dude, um, I would have called in those plates immediately. Don't get me. Yeah, don't that's get a, me started, That's a dude. crime. Um, br so brought it, uh, brought it to work, and then uh, the manager there brought it to the vet. Spent hundreds of dollars on medical bills. It had a respiratory infection. It had ear infection in both ears. Uh, broken er, bones? No broken bones. Wow. Ear infections in both ears. Eye infections. It, they were so mucousy that they were crusted shut that I had to constantly be wiping them with a wet towel to get all the crustiness off so he could open her, so she could open her eyes. Um, and uh, it was just... It was like two and a half months of giving her daily... Two different kinds of daily medication oral um the oral i had to do like once a week and then her eye medication i had to do twice a day and it was just a nightmare um but now she's just this big happy chunky kitty really and i can't get rid of her now you oh, know because no, she dude. came from like almost dead yeah so you, like you gotta know she yeah. lives a happy full life at yeah. that point and so it's like okay i gotta keep little miracle kitty wow that's you know? amazing dude. And of course you gotta keep little miracle kitty beautiful calico I don't know what that means. Calico means that it's got all three colors, brown, white, and black. Okay. Brown And only females are calicos. Calicos can only be females. But they're just beautiful spots all over. Her patches. Mm -hmm. Her name's Patches. Dude, that's sweet, man. That's a beautiful story. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I yeah. think some of the women, just to forgive you for your abortion comments. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. She's a good kitty. Yeah. So do you have, like... Oh, actually... Besides you having help taking care of that cat, did you? Like, did anyone was anyone helping you like with all the medicine and stuff at that time? Like, were you with in a relationship? Um, no, no, I took care of it, but, uh, you know, Penny paid for all the medical. Oh, expenses. what a sweetheart! So you know what I mean, and um, and I just took care of her and administered the mm -hmm. the medicine. So for sure, yeah, there was there was definitely help. I was the one who kind of administered it, but um, I a avoided the financial of it i mean i would have if i had to um but luckily i didn't because it wasn't oh, i think it was like 650 bucks wow. 700 dollars yeah something like that Medicine for all the medical cheap, man. yeah well the cat was in bad shape you want to dive into your shitty roommate uh, how'd you meet your shitty roommate craigslist craigslist Sam needed a roommate, and he put out an ad on Craigslist, and he met a gentleman that isn't a terrific roommate, and what makes him not a terrific roommate? Where do I start? Well, he started by... Sign number one, yeah. Let's just, let, let's take her back to the start, and we'll, we'll get into this until Aaron and uh, Cameron walk up. So number one was... Um... Crap, he was jewel. he was sleeping on my couch every night. Yeah, because he didn't have a mattress. Didn't have mattress. Didn't have anything, which I didn't know at the time. Um, but he was sleeping on my couch every night. Uh, he wasn't showering at all. He smelled so bad. And you have uh, hot water in the house. You have available showers. Available showers. So yeah. The necessities you need to live. Yeah, yeah it's it's so a, he had access to everything, but he chose to be dirty. It's a well kept house. We, we keep it clean. Mm -hmm. We keep it nice, me and Matt. And Matt's another Craigslist roommate. Some of the best roommates I've ever had, randos on Craigslist. Really? Awesome roommates. The guy that I just went out to eat with, who's he's almost a pilot now. He is a pilot. You he met him on Craigslist? On his, got him on Craigslist. Was he, he moved here to he go to school a, wait, to you be live a pilot. I did. I okay. did. He just recently moved back because he's been in the army traveling and whatnot. Okay. But he came here to go to to go to school. You need to learn how to be a pilot. He's yeah. almost done. He's on his last year. Aviation, brother. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he's awesome. And he was a Craigslist guy. The guy I got right now, Matt. Matt's fantastic. And he's a Craigslist guy. And they're both just really clean, really outstanding. As this guy was Craigslist. Did you have an interview with him before you were like, yeah, move in? And did he clean up prior to the interview and then get dirty over time? He just looked like your regular working class guy. Mm -hmm. And he looked at it, and I'm like, so what do you think about it? And he's like, I like it. Can I take it? And I'm like, sure. And I just asked him some basic questions about himself to get a feel, and he just... 
thing is this, man, it's it's hard to tell who a slob is or yeah. who's somebody who's off. And I just I didn't pick it out from the beginning. So he would pass out on the couch. He smelled so bad that even if he was in his room, the second I'd open the door to the house, the whole house read. Wow. If, I, if he wasn't home, if he was at work and I was in my room playing games or in my room reading or something like that, the second he came home, I could, especially if I was gaming, right? So I got and my he headset had a job. On. People let him go to work mm-hmm. like this without saying something? I have no idea. But I, even if I had my headset on and I couldn't hear the door open, I knew he was home because in my room, doors, entrance to the house is on the other side. You know, yeah. this I could smell him immediately in my room. Jesus. He smelled so foul. So foul. How'd you get over that? And, um... I got it. Okay. And, uh... I had to start telling him to shower, which is a super embarrassing thing to do. Right, to walk yeah. up to a grown-ass man, he's 30 years old, and being like, dude, the house smells like shit, you need to shower, man. Yeah. You have to shower, you smell really bad. And then he's sleeping on my couch, and now my couch smells like shit. I'll sit down on my couch and be like... Oh, man. Fuck! You know, just like, pissed. The a $1,300 couch. I spent good money on yeah. that much. And he's sleeping on it. Did you get it out after better, time? And it doesn't smell bad anymore. Okay. Yeah. And after some time, you know, it went away. Like, How long did it take him to start getting regular showers on? Did you have to remind him each shower? Like, hey, yeah. man, you're yep. starting to smell a little more. Yep. Why don't you hop in there? Yep. It's like, who doesn't enjoy it, a shower? It wasn't just a one-time thing, and he's like, oh, okay, I'll take care of it. I had to, when he smelled, I had to tell him, dude, you need to go shower. He would get home. I would smell him. Wait for about 30 minutes. When the smell didn't go away, I'd have to put the game down, put whatever I'm doing, yeah. put it down, walk out. He'd be sitting out there gaming or something or sitting at the table. I'd be like, hey, man, you need to shower. I can smell you from my room. Oh, the boys are here. Can I snag that? Yeah, you can snag that. Yo, we'll get all of us to do the... Uh... What up, John? We're mid-podcast, so let's rip oh, There's two chairs in the back. I'm gonna Yo, what's up, boys? No, what's, up, up, what's up, guy? Right, Are you the Marine? I am. Gotta tell you this right now, because this is hilarious. G43, it's the exact gun that I carry. It's the exact gun that oh, I carry. If you're sitting in the back, the in the conversation. Otherwise, you're sitting in the room. Just pull oh, up a chair for a Dead serious. Same exact holster. No, because you're going to be on camera anyway. You're not going to be on camera and not talk. I do, yep. Fine, fuck, yeah. No, yeah. you're yeah. not going to be on camera and not talk. Come on. No, that's what I'm saying. I didn't bring it today because I was drinking. Yeah, that works. I walked in and I was like... G43. Did I leave my Did I leave my gun here? And I'm like, no, I just had my gun earlier. And like, yeah, dude, the fucking 43. Yeah, uh, even uh, even the holster is the same. Too, yeah, huh? see, exa- did you get it from multi holsters? No, dude, I literally bought that uh, like that gun from fucking Shields, and it came with it. Oh, oh, that came with it. Yeah, okay. it came with one magazine with the extension, and then literally like two days ago, I bought the um, extension for that second magazine. So That's... do you hide away that, or do you carry it on your hip? Um, I carry. I'll like I'll carry it usually in between like this like area. Inside, like, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the only difference it's literally the exact same style, the exact same. Yeah, Sam, you showed me yours and is it's that the exact right same. There, the the marking right there. I don't you can have put it that. on camera so in case people are curious. Yeah. I don't have the marking right there. On yeah, the there's clip. a there's a little old round in the chamber, so Yeah, I saw what? that. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. You gotta gotta leave a round in the chamber. Yeah, dude. Yeah. If you're gonna conceal carry, you gotta be ready. Like you ain't got time to fucking draw. You don't have time to rack. You ain't got time to draw, rack, and fucking shoot. Oh, that's the same. Is that the same as Pat's? No, he's got the twenty-seven. Which came out out the twenty-six? Twenty-six? Is it the twenty-six? Yeah, twenty-six. So and it's like it's like a quarter inch thicker. It's a double stack. So this is the single. And his holds eleven. It came out the year after this came out. I was so pissed. Because <laughs> I bought that when it was brand new, and then the 26 Wait, came is that Pat's really you small just, gun you're talking about? Did you just paint yeah. your sight? No, dude, it, it came just like that. It did? Oh, okay. Yeah, they and That's the, what I thought, too. I was it like, kind of irritates me. They literally just came out with the 43X, yeah. and, um, but the only shitty thing about that is they only offer it in, like, stainless steel. Like, So mm. the the whole slide is Fucked just up. a little too flashy for you? Yeah, it, stick, it just... I don't like my gat to fucking stick out if I'm going to carry it. And yeah, exactly. You don't want to be too flashy or anything. Yeah, and especially if you're moving around, like, who knows, your sweatshirt might ride up and it yep. sticks out like fucking... Yeah. Yeah, so... I, I keep mine dead center in the front. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually appendix carry or fucking hip carry it, yeah. so... Fucking no, digs in for me, like, right on the fucking hip bone. It's just like a 
if it was something that small, around, even something that small. If I keep it on the side, the handle, man, just fucking when I'm driving or something like that, it's just brutal. On I just head. got an MMP shield, and it's like it's pretty close to that size, but the handle's a little bit longer because it's got like an extended mag. Yeah, and shields a good. I have no problem. Gun. I have no problem with that. Yeah. Oh, 260 bucks on sale, Cabela's. I was looking I was like, at you can't go wrong. I was looking at that or this. I ended up picking this up because I'm just I'm slim. I wear kind of slimmer fitting clothes. It's nicer yeah, to have I something wear. really, yeah, really. Well, subcompact. Oh, Actually, for sure. Actually, just picked up a Smith and Wesson MMP15. Okay. Uh, M uh, AR style. Yeah. In town. Yeah, it's fucking. Well, I actually got it from uh from a guy who was selling it, so unregistered. <laughs> but um, yeah, welcome to yeah. the blogcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just um, I have a fucking, I have another handgun. I got a Beretta 92 FS stainless steel, and then literally like three days ago, I bought a an H and K. 416 uh 22 just for my little pew pew oh, I like, like, the, I, like you can shit I don't know what any of this means Fuck yeah so you just Heck use that like as a foregrip then or like do you ever use yeah, it as a, a foregrip yeah it's a grip that's what it, it's a grip and magazine holder there's a little button on the side for a laser sight it's got a if you're showing them you gotta show the camera that. too um people well, are gonna I mean, get curious they can, they can see it oh, they they can see oh it. yeah dude that camera they can totally see it dude that's just crystal clear you're getting the glare off it oh yeah there you go yeah, I, I have a 300 blackout oh, pistol with an EOTech on it. Oh, right. How much yeah, it's, a, it's uh 550. Ooh, yeah, that's it, fun. It's Benny, but I literally was just in Brothers right over there the yeah. other day, and they were selling that same exact EOTech for 650. I'm like, you motherfuckers are scamming people. Like, And for those yeah, of you thinking this is up. abnormal, right downtown, there's literally a gun shop like pretty much right below a us. A block away, right? Yeah. Right by all the bars. So you could literally stop at the bar, buy a fucking Bud Light tap, pound that shit, <laughs> well, go to the gun store, be like, I want that. I gun. want that. <laughs> <laughs> I think North they, Dakota. I think right, they right. maybe smell your breath a little bit. I don't know. Dude, I've been in They there probably still sell it to you, though. Are the, are the brothers some boys, though? They, they handed <laughs> me assault rifles because I was looking for a, a 9mm AR stuff. Uh, AR nine mil, and um, they were handing me guns left and right, and there's no way I didn't smell like booze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not loaded, right? It's yeah, like, ah, yeah, this right. guy's no harm. <laughs> like, for those of you who haven't seen it, I have a video called Controversy in 2018, and it's literally uh, me and Hove ripping around on some four wheelers and shooting some guns. <laughs> we gotta go shooting this summer. We should. For sure. I got an SR9 too, a Ruger, and uh, don't get one. Yeah. Don't get Why? one. Uh, they'll jam on the first, you know, on the the first yeah. chamber, and then halfway through a magazine, that fucking thing will jam. Brand new gun, That's like I up. hadn't shot it before. My first magazine shooting through it just fucking That's jams a up. shell in there. It's like piece of shit. That two hundred and sixty dollars MMP shield fucking hasn't. I went out yeah. and shot it for a day and probably put a hundred rounds to it. Didn't jam once. They're well, they're like Glocks, yeah, super reliable. Except for they got better sights, you know, and mm -hmm. they're. Well, They're I have really a Glock good. 19 too, and yep. I I was shooting I was shoot uh, shooting both of them that day, and I was shooting way better with my M&P. Yeah. Yeah, and surprisingly, I that HK like you know <laughs> most most 22 AR platforms they usually like run into problems like you load a magazine, you'll shoot a couple rounds in it, and it'll yeah. have a so fucking a failure to feed. But that H like HK does a really good job yeah. on their fucking rifles for sure, and like. I literally put like a hundred rounds through that thing. Like, no, I only no, have no. one twenty round mag right now, but yeah. I'm gonna order a few uh, thirty rounders for it. Yeah. No failure to feeds or anything, man. I was sitting there like my finger was almost outrunning the bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Just it, fucking Dan Jam once, dude. That thing is beautiful. Oh. Definitely best three hundred fifty dollars I've ever Fuck spent it. on it. Three fifty. Yeah, for it's just a little twenty two. Like I literally bought that thing just so I could literally just shit ammo out yeah. of it and shoot it for fun. So. James, you got any more diesels? Uh, yeah, go for Sam. it. I mean, if I'm, I'm only going to have probably just this one, honestly. Oh, for sure. Because I was having a few before I came over. So. Yeah, Aaron, I, one, Aaron one, and I played like 10 games of pool, dude, and fucking pounded a few At beers. Least, and you got five <laughs> I was like, hey, bro, you want you want a couple of shots? He's like, yeah. So we sat at the bar, dude. We took like two Chuck Norrises and a fucking Grab him one too. straight shot of Jaeger. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't know anything about anything, like, gun-related, but I know Hovland, Hovland, no. Hovland has a Taurus Judge, which is a revolver pistol that can shoot shotgun shells out Five of it. Five-shot revolver that shoots four tens. Oh, bro. Uh, 45 longs. And you no, know, but it's so inaccurate. 
filthy, dude. Oh, dude, a shot. Like, a Would shotgun shot. Would you ever conceal the Taurus a... Judge or no? Hmm? Would you ever conceal carry the Judge? I mean, I've got the snub nose one, so it's possible, but it's, it's just... It's oh, such Patrick, overkill. Patrick it's sent me some snaps of that when they were at, when he was out at your place this last summer. Yep. You guys were out there shooting. Yeah, I always bust that out for a few shots. Don't you have, like, a 7 for you? AK seven for you? No. Um, and what is that? It's like it, it's that, was AK Cal, that was a Cal that was a Cal Tech. It shoots. Um, I'm gonna rock a pistol. Seven real quick six two. Just keep talking. AK yeah, yeah. is and then um, uh, yeah, that's seven six two, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it shoots. Uh, wait, no, no, no. It's AR. It shoots two two three, and um, it's actually way easier to control than you would think without having any brace or any stock or anything. You can control it pretty good. That thing lit up, man. It was nighttime, oh, yeah. and and uh, I'm muzzle, guessing you were the one recording the snap where Patrick well, there was, was one. There was like... one with me where I was in that, like, really, like, the trench coat. Yeah, yeah. And I was just letting them buck, and the muzzle flash was just ridiculous. Fucking Columbine shooter. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Wait, so you have a, um, like, a pistol or an AR pistol or a rifle? Well, that's yeah, just... if, as long as you have a barrel under, shit, what is it, like 16 inches, it's considered... It's, a, yeah, a pistol, yeah. Yeah, as so long as have... it doesn't have a stock or, like, as long as it has a brace, not, a, like, a true stock. That's what right, Pat's yeah, yeah. building. Has he built yep. that? He, all he needs is, like, two, <coughs> two more parts and that thing's ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, because my, uh, my 300 Blackout, it's only a 10 and a half inch barrel. I have a little Sig Sauer <laughs> Pistol brace, yeah. uh, and it, it's it's kind of outdated at this point because I know they have a lot better braces. Like the problem with mine is literally like you just slid it onto the buffer tube, yeah. And it, like the problem yeah, is, that's, is that's, it that's rotates like a motherfucker. So it's like oh shit, it's a little off balance. I got to rotate it yeah. literally 360 degrees for that's it to annoying. be <laughs> level. So I definitely need to get a a new like stabilizing brace for that shit. But um, on this picture of the council. but the fact that like. An AR pistol that shoots like shotgun shells, dude. That's just. I feel well, no, bad no, no, for no, the. No, no, no. It's just a revolver. It's a five shot revol guy. revolver. You say or the the judge. It's oh, a five dude, shot that, revolver. But it's literally. What does it shoot like? Four ten. Four ten. Oh, dude. Just imagine like being a being the poor bastard that kicks down a door and he's like, I'm gonna rob this motherfucker. <laughs> he's got maybe like a baseball bat or a crowbar. And this motherfucker pulls out a revolver that yeah, shoots 410, shot in there literally like <laughs> bird shot or, you know, and it's funny because you could literally have like a slug or a bird shot. Either way, dude, that motherfucker is going to like hate his life. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think if, if you were to, power. if you were to shoot a motherfucker with bird shot, let's just think about that. Like a bird shot, like maybe 410, most it carries is what? Eight BBs. Mm -hmm. But that shit's shooting at like. At least 800 feet per second, like at least 800 feet per second, eight BBs going into you. You're fucking like, done. And that's just gonna you can't, you can't miss. Have, have you guys ever heard spread, of the spread? Is ridiculous since it's a snub nose. It's it just goes yeah. and like it just. And so they do like ball. you'll catch one to the chin, dude. Like two to the collarbone, a couple to the fucking chest, and then like two to your pelvic area. Like have have you guys ever heard of uh, his name's i think ross like chipperoni or cheeseperoni or so, it's like something italian this guy from detroit he was it was a really well-known story that went out he went uh he was shot by a friend of his his, it, it, his friend had him had him drive to this location and was like hey man we're gonna go pick something up like let's go here real quick can you give me a ride and they went to this shady part was of it town a gang initiation and thing? it was a gang initiation i saw thing. the youtube video and um here. And uh, once they got there, he's like, look, man, I don't like this. And the dude reached over and grabbed the keys out and was like, get out of the car. Got out of the car, went and pulled his friend out of the car, um, threw him on the ground. There was a shotgun sitting in the grass. Oh, that he had I left there. Too. He fucking racked the shot. The, he racked the shotgun, shot him, shot him. The first shot hit him in the arm. Like, well, he was breaking his arm to Blew his arm yeah. off. It was barely dangling there. And then he looks up. Second shot hits him in the heart in the chest point blank range and then the dude falls and he starts to push himself up somehow still alive and the guy puts it to his head and he goes to hit it but doesn't hit it enough and fucking blows this dude in the head three he's, shots he's a skateboarder and now, then, isn't he? and then bashed his face and knocked in almost knocked out almost all of his teeth so a shot to the arm dangling a shot directly to the heart and one to the head the guy fucking lived. Didn't didn't some like neighbor lady or but some he's old lady that now, right? that lived like next door heard it and no. or like some la old lady that was living by him I think like heard it. And found no, it, it was it was actually the a way cop. he describes it. Well, it'll make you cry if you listen to him tell the story. I've heard the but story, he was but laying there dying and he heard this inner monologue. The way he mm -hmm. describes it, he heard this inner monologue and he's like, I heard 
it was my voice, but it wasn't me talking to me. And it said, get up, man, you're dying. And I kept saying, no, I, I want to sleep. I just want to go to sleep. It's like, no, dude, you're, you're dying. Die. And he's like, I just want to sleep. So I tried to push myself up, and it didn't work. And he's like, come on, man, do it, do it again. Push yourself. And he's like, I don't want to. He's like, just do it. So he's like, I tried to push myself up again, and it didn't work. And the voice, my voice said again, he's like, D one more time, just do it one more time. And he said he went to push himself up and he felt these arms underneath his stomach lift him and he got on his, and he started swinging because he thought he was still being attacked and there was nobody there. And he just stood there, just bleeding and dying. And then he felt a hand on his back, push him. Oh, and he heard go. And he walked about 10 feet just out of the brush, out of the, this foresty area, and collapsed. And it was just far enough to get into this road area. And some guy driving by saw somebody stumble out of the woods and collapse. Wow. Drove I over. Like an old called the cops. Lady. Dude fucking lived. He's yeah. a skateboarder now, isn't he? <clears throat> yeah. Skateboard. Yeah, dude, that video made me cry. Yeah, oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. He's a skateboarder. He's a good skateboarder, An skateboarder, skateboarder Yeah. yeah. So Is that me. you just go after, like, convicts that broke out? What the fuck's in a skateboarder? What? Huh? What's an escape warden? No, he's a skateboarder now. After so he recovered, he... he skateboards for fun. Oh, skateboarder! I thought you yeah. said an escape warden. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, dude, it's wild. Like he yeah. kickflips. Dude, I bet the arms got to be fragile. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's it's wild to think like motherfuckers can survive shots like that like three shots point blank from a 12 yeah page. and there's stories of like That's people God, fucking yeah. fighting look at, over look at bear attacks and shit too like people just get mauled and make some it. guy just killed a mountain lion with his bare hands That's yeah insane. yeah I remember Did you guys see that? luckily that thing wasn't like a full mature one because he probably would have got his ass kicked but he I definitely mean, fucking beat the shit I never out of the I never heard the full story what did he just give him a good right hook and knock it out or what yeah dude I don't I think he may have strangled it Holy fuck, yeah, he did. He, he literally choked it to death. Luckily, it wasn't a full-size one. It was just a like a baby one. Yeah. Not fully matured yet. Like, just let's just compare it, let's compare it to, like, <laughs> yeah, a teenager. Yeah, a teenager. <laughs> like, literally, just, I'm a teenager, and I'm fighting some fucking child, but the child whoops my ass. Like, yep. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, it's crazy to think that. And then there's motherfuckers, like, like I literally recently just seen a, a photo of some U.S. Army soldier who was in the... Middle East literally took a round of the Kevlar that, like... That break uh, literally, a, a, fuck Yeah, you dude, and the Kevlar is literally... It's not invented to stop a round like a fucking plate carrier with sappies. It's meant to... Hopefully, the round hits you at an angle and bounces off. Mm -hmm. But this oh, round about literally... His helmet? Yeah, the oh, round literally... Oh, I've seen literally that right one. His, I think you mean, like... Like a kept, yeah. they're standing in a doorway and it goes poof and then they run back. Yeah, I so saw yeah, that. he's like, I think I a lot of people I got hit. I got hit. Yeah, a lot of people think like a Kevlar is sort of like a a plate carrier or like something to perfect a protective vest. Right. Yeah. No, a Kevlar. The true definition of a helmet, like a fucking normal, like whatever any armed force member wears, that's a Kevlar. Like a helmet, mm -hmm. it's a Kevlar. It's not meant to. I want to say like. A, di a, a direct hit, it's going to go through and probably fucking scramble your brains. Like but okay round, yeah, but for the most part, like, you better pray. Like, you literally only wear a Kevlar helmet to hopefully pray that the bullet doesn't hit you at a direct fucking straight shot. Yeah. But slightly an angle, and it'll fucking ricochet. So it's probably formed so, to be but aerodynamic he took a in there. He, no, he literally he took a fucking round of a 7.62... AK forty seven. Yeah. AK forty seven right on the top of his is head? a brutal round. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> seven, six, that two. round is killing yeah. so many people. Seven six two is literally like a number one terrorist weapon. The only like, good thing to come from socialism. It, it, communism. Yeah, <laughs> a seven six two. A seven, <laughs> yeah, exactly. A seven six two isn't meant to go. I want to say the max effective area range for it is like 300 yards, mm -hmm. which you think about it, that that's only like three football fields. Holy fuck. Yeah. It's a bullet. It's Someone shooting at you. But that's the max effective that's range. Still a shot and it with hit the dude, sides, hit the dude right in the fucking Kevlar, but just at the perfect angle, it literally did not go the entire way through. Like it, it put a hole in the Kevlar. Didn't go through the Up on the head. side, right? Yeah. Like on the... I saw and that. Took it, it took like a chunk off the top, like all the yeah. paint. Was it when yeah, you were in that And he's out in the looking at it, he's like, oh shit, it was I got like, It was like a cement building type yeah. thing, wasn't it? 
Yeah. I, I'm not sure. It, like through a I literally, it was just kind of like, through a doorway. I read through the story, but literally the dude, like the army let him keep that Kevlar as like, a fuck yeah, dude. Better. Like as a fucking like, what's that? Holy that shit, man. I got shot in the head. <laughs> Got you're shot in the head, in but pussy. Literally. You're drowning. Like, I would wear that to the bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, and I literally, I watched a video of a dude. It's um, I can't, I don't remember if it was like U.S. Army special soldiers, like Green Beret or Marine Corps Marsoc, but it was a, it was a live video of them. They were going through a building, and there was like five or six contacts inside of one room. Next thing you know, like. Some dude, like, gets shot in the head. He's like, oh, oh shit, I just got shot in the head. Uh, Takes his Kevlar off, yeah, yeah. and there's a fucking bullet straight through his, he- like, helmet. So, so this dude's right like, head. yeah, this dude is, like, <laughs> sitting there like, about. holy fuck, dude, I just got shot in my helmet. But I'm still here, like... Dude, and they play it off. They're, no one is even like, dude, that's insane. They're just like, well, because they're you're good. good. You're good? You're good. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, they, you're good. They just it's a mission. Continue. Yeah. Exactly. Like, they, they have a fucking then like, then, they, yeah. then, then they report in that there's a sniper, and then that's literally yeah. all they talk about it. And then right. the video oh, wow. goes on. And then later, yeah, they're laying in their, in their bunks, and they're like, yo, fucking... Yeah, bro. Fucking I, Elms almost got <laughs> fucked out there, you little bitch. Fuck you, bro. Think that head, you dumbass. Won't <laughs> <Like, laughs> a Kevlar helmet stop any like pistol round, like any nine mil forty five? Maybe a Deagle is gonna blow through it. But. Maybe, maybe. I would think. Yeah. yeah I mean, a Kevlar helmet, honestly, it's pretty thick. Like, considering whenever I go on a field op, like I mean, it's usually it's our. Um, I know a woman. Our SOP. Kevlar. Kevlar. Really? Yeah, a woman created Kevlar. Yeah, so mm-hmm. our SOP, like, battalion-wide, since we're an infantry unit, mm-hmm. most of the part, like, whenever we're going on, like, a field opera, riding in Humvees, we usually f- wear our fucking plate carriers with our sappies and our Kevlar. And I know without the sappy plates, the, the little flak vest, it's got soft armor in it, which is rated up to about a 9 millimeter. so mm-hmm. maybe, like, a round or two of 9 mil, you'll but be how fine. how many, I mean... But the how kev- many enemies are carrying nine mil? You know, and that's the that's the it's funny thing. Like mostly at this pretty high caliber. Literally rounds. at this point in like fucking mother mother nature, like or mother earth, I should say. I don't yeah. know. Like mostly every fucking bad guy is gonna have at least seven six. At least a five five six. Ninety nine. They're shooting at you with yeah. some real shit. No, no <laughs> one's gonna be fucking uh, carrying a goddamn nine millimeter like so handgun no one's, no one's or rifle and no be like, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. It's my job. Pa, pa, this is but Detroit. Literally, <laughs> like it's mostly just nowadays. Obviously, the world is in pretty decent order. I want to say, so like a lot of guys like yeah. Like, all you really see nowadays is just small groups of, like, terrorists. Mm-hmm. Like, the Middle East... Where are you about to go? I'm... Well, I'm about to go on a Mew, which it's really just kind of us training with other countries and building relationships, so... But, like, honestly, is the only... The, sexual relationships? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. The, the really, <laughs> like... There's really no enemy at this point to fight because... Like, the They've world, been the, every country really realized, like, what is the point <laughs> of deploying, like, a mass weapon, like a nuclear fucking missile? Why the fuck would we want to destroy ourselves? Because literally, like, any country that has nuclear capabilities, like, if they launch one... Every other country is gonna retaliate, yeah, well, and the UN is just gonna kick in and be like, "Okay, there goes exactly every, like, uh, like everything you, guys, you have." Have you guys ever seen it's this graph that uh, some Japanese student created? It's just a full map in blue of the entire world, and it starts from uh, forty. Was it forty five when the first nuke was dropped on Hiroshima? I think it was forty five, nineteen forty five. Yeah, forty five. Yep. So it starts with that energy. one, and. The Enola Gay and Every, what's the other one? The Enola fat, Gay. Fat boy? No, the no, Enola no, no, no. Gay was the plane. Plane, and then it dropped, dropped the Fat Boy. Uh, and little Man and Fat Boy. Fat Boy. Yeah. And, um... I and didn't so, even really remember that, honestly. But yeah. Anyways, continue. continue. And, <laughs> and so it's just a, a map of the world, and it shows the first, the first test that went off in, I think it was Nevada... And then immediately, the next day, they after the first successful test, they dropped that shit on Hiroshima. It couldn't have been. It couldn't have been a, a more successful drop. It could not have been a more accurate hit. Stop it! Yeah, stop the Japanese and like, who knew what it was gonna take to actually and get them it's to wild click? Because they were so precise. Yeah, and it's wild to think like literally the Japanese after that first fucking atomic bomb, they were like, 
they were literally in the middle of signing their fucking like peace treaty like holy shit we surrender and they didn't have they literally did not respond in time enough and we were like fuck it they, drop another one like, they said they said that they weren't that they weren't throwing in the towel but I mean, but they were literally in the I middle of writing a they peace would've, treaty. Like, I don't think they would have ran that second bomb because if that they, the second one only wiped out they, fifty thousand people. It missed. It was fifty thousand uh, people. That's a lot of fucking. In people. comparison to the first one, yeah, and, and, how, and how, how big the explosion well, is. Fifty thousand was dog shit. Well, you how gotta think of how many people died after the fact and gave. Yeah, that's birth what I was to, just gonna say. I like, think it was how much was it? Oh my god, it dude! Was there's still birth effects going on. Yeah, literally. I was I was literally just in Japan and I was in. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I go back to Japan here in May, but they. Um, I literally I got to go to Iwakuni, which is just south of Hiroshima, and you know a lot of us know it. Like Hiroshima, they also have the biggest red light district, which is for prostitutes, mm -hmm. mind you. But anyways, so now I know they're glad to go prostitutes. There. They for... literally, yeah, they literally <laughs> have a tour site where you can see like people's. Like, obviously, because the fucking... It's an atomic bomb. Like, nuclear reactions and shit. Like, it literally burned their shadows. Like, the yeah, people who I died... Yeah, the, the ground. Yeah, and they have a tour of that. And you can literally go to this did day. Just see it? Did, did you go and see that? I did not see it because I was kind of a lame. And me and my buddy Moorhead, we just chilled in the barracks playing fucking video games on our laptops. You should have gone! Yeah. But, anyways... Know, that's that's like, that would have been magic To this day, but, like dead people's shadows. Dude, it's just yeah. wild that mankind created a weapon that was literally so hot that those people, like, they literally, in ins like, instant flash, burns their shadows. It was, it was hotter and brighter than the sun. Exactly. Than and, the sun. And the thing yeah. is, like, Russia right now, they have what, it, I think it's the Satan 2, it's called. Yeah. It's over a hundred times more powerful yeah. than that. It's because it's they're so, taking DMT, oh, dude. What's the name of the, the what's the name of the one that they dropped? <laughs> oh, the Ask biggest Alex one Jones, ever, dude, ever maybe tested. The they dropped in the ocean, Russia. It was the uh, what's the name of it? When they blew up that island? It was the bit. I think it was no. I think this was one they dropped in the ocean. It was the biggest one ever dropped. Oh fuck! I'm what pretty sure I know what you're talking about. I think it starts with Tesla. Is there a video? Oh, of the it? the SAR. T S A R. Okay, the yeah, yeah, the SAR. yeah. The SAR. Oh, yeah. The SAR bomb. Yep. Yeah. Was that the one that created tidal waves to, that flooded like islands around it and like fucked I over think local so. islands? I think so. Yeah. 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 yeah but it was it was tremendous. Why would you do that in the ocean? Just fuck up all the fish. Most well, of them were tested in the ocean. A tremendous. Well, because actually, they can't most do it of them were tested in Nevada. They should just be yeah, because, 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 like, because, like, because the ocean is international waters. <laughs> no one owns it. Like every most of the like. Big countries signed an agreement that no one really owns it, and you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, that's why. That's why the Russia. Tuna, though. That's why Russia, China, and United States. We have fucking navy vessels, secret. Like no one knows where they are right now. Like at this moment, fucking we could be off the coast of fucking China or Russia, just spying on, trying to get gather intel, which is literally. To this so day, I know for a fact it's happening. It's like 14 minutes long. Like and literally, it well, is, didn't when, the U.S. admit to bombing like some of our islands just to test bombs? Yeah. They, well, it, it starts in in 1945, so it starts with America, and that's the counter right there of how many they test, and then Most Russia comes into play, and then different countries. It shows how many they've done over the course of many years. All right, now and you I'm have just, to put it on the screen. And I'm just gonna sco yeah, scoop ahead to here, and you time. literally can just watch every single flash. Is a nuclear bomb being tested? What's with yeah. the colors? So uh, the colors are so the red is for the red is uh, Russian nukes that they're testing. Blue is blue is American dude, nukes that are being double, tested. We're double what they're at. Oh yeah, dude. And at the when we get to yeah, dude. Where is it? Once it gets to there is literally top secret, dude. Once like, it gets to so that involves that co involves the Cold War too. So I bet there's such a crazy spike once that hits. Sam, like, show the camera it's, the it's diagram. It's at it's, 70, 1977 right now. Wait till the Cold War hits, and I guarantee there's like yeah, quadruple dude. These are all every. Oh, get, cut get that glare that out of the way. Every so every flash going off is. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, dude, they, that's being tested. They, they literally tested so many. All those little flashes in the United oh, States are in Arizona. That's already where they tested a, a bunch lot of nuclear weapons. Nevada. A lot of those look like... Or, or Nevada, Nevada. Nevada. Some yeah, of those yeah, look yeah. like they're in Canada, though. 
Like, literally, like, the United States tested a bunch of nukes, mm-hmm. and that it was mostly in, North like, North Dakota used to be, like, a big and target zone, because we kept a bunch of them, damn Yeah, and we, we literally, do. they they stored a bunch of nuclear weapons in North Dakota, because, like, if you're another country, you're like, holy fuck, okay, this city is majorly populated, there's gotta be a base around it, so literally, what the United States thought was, North Dakota is literally in the middle of a bum fuck nowhere. Yeah, no one cares about yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Who's going to nuke us, man? You're not going to get anything done. Yeah, there's... Unless they want to get the nukes. It's like, <laughs> they, they took out Joe Black's <laughs> and the nukes. Yeah, there's there's still to this day, right. I know for a fact, there are literally nuclear launch sites in North Dakota. And there's a few that are for purchase if you want to. Wow. Literally, yeah. Hey, so day. if one nuke hits another nuke and explodes, does it cause the other nuke to explode because of force? No. Or is it like a chemical thing? That no, goes... because what because causes them to explode, it's actually um, two pieces reaction, of uranium like... um, uh, projected and forced into each other yeah. uh, by gunpowder. And... and so if one nuke hit another it wouldn't cause that to make the explosion bigger because the uranium has to be forced together to start the nuclear reaction. So unless it's somehow forced that, yeah, so you know... It's basically just a, like ti- the tiniest atoms gunpowder. that you can imagine. Yeah, and we use Two little fucking <laughs> atoms <laughs> being launched into themselves at maximum speed ever. Yeah. And what it causes is as soon as they compact with each other, that's like me and you... Let's say we were to tackle each other on a football field. Yeah. Here, obviously, let's get an example of front here, huh? Obviously, <laughs> obviously, you and I tackling each other. I'm like, not holy enough. fuck, we're both, like, our body mass and your body mass colliding. It's going to cause some Love, sort of reaction. Brother. But yeah. imagine <laughs> the tiniest little Real atom chemistry. hitting, yeah, hitting another atom at maximum speed and, like, Literally, this shit. These both, both of these are so small, but yet they carry so much speed and mass that as soon as they collide, they're like, they they spaz out and don't know where to go. So literally, they just like fucking explode. It literally destroys it, the composition of mass itself. That concept, fucking, yeah. it's it's Nutty. tearing apart the seams like, of mass itself. Yeah, I'd, in a. Bomb. It's literally it's like you don't even know how to explain it because so you have like, can to you be make a genius. Bigger nukes yeah. than <laughs> like, can you make a little nuke and a bigger nuke? Like what? What yeah, differentiates the size? It, it just depends little boy on and the size. Yeah, it just it really. I personally, I what I think would be the answer to that is a smaller atom and a bigger atom like hitting each other. Like but how do you even the, pick those out? Like you go to like, CERN. You ever hear the? You ever hear the saying like? If you were to fold a piece of paper over and over again, like... You couldn't fold it ten times unless it were the size of a, two, a football field or two football fields. Exactly. Yeah. And every time you fold it, it just gets bigger. It's basically like that. So it's literally so fucking small. And it's traveling so fast. Like, the reaction is unbelievable. It's great like content. Every, <laughs> yeah, 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 every... Yeah, I might have to edit this out. S- such a good... No, but, this is really good content. Don't edit this out. Yeah. Dude, like, we, we were talking about abortion earlier, so I think it'll be yeah. fine. No, it's it is. It's fucking it's crazy. It's it, yeah, dude, it's so small and and the smaller you are and the faster speed you go, I feel like uh, I'm pretty sure scientifically the smaller you are, but the faster the speed you have, you have greater like let's say you were fucking 200 atoms big and I was 10. But I flew at you way fucking faster. Yep. I'm gonna kick your ass like, <laughs> majorly in the Just end. Just velocity. That's, sure. that's restarted really that's sure what it is. Tension and force. You exactly. Know? Yeah. yeah. The video restarted at 2000. So. Oh. It, oh yeah. No. So it restarted. And basically what this part is really cool. It just shows all the bombs of one country. So it shows them all go off real quick over the time period. And then it lights up that area okay. of that bomb. So green is Africa. Green shows at where all of Africa is. Uh, Dude, I think it's Brazil nukes? or something. Brazil or something like what? that. Um, Brazil's in Africa, right? Bro. Brazil? 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 I thought Whoever, it was South America. Literally, like, there are Wait people. till it shows wait, real quick. At this point, Look honestly. At, 
That's Russia. Like, Look at fucking Russia. <laughs> Holy shit. And Russia and then, hasn't nuked anyone, have they? Show the camera Russia. No, and then, that's insane. real quick, and then once it finishes, it lights up the entire area Brazil, of South America. America. <clears throat> and now, look, that's the biggest dot right now. Now here's America. Like, literally, the biggest thing we should worry about is the Middle East with a fucking nuke. Because, like, and then if it Nevada. flashes why the not, Middle why East... Why not like, North Korea? Oh, dude, North, dude, North Korea Look at Nevada's shit. dot right here. And he, the and I'm biggest not gonna... dot, the most any nukes have been tested right here on American soil. North Korea Fucking just wants to feed their people. Dot. And yeah, the funny... Dude, like, I thought North Korea said that they had missiles that could reach Alaska. Yeah, yeah and, and I'm going to tell you guys and, something uh, right now. Our coasts. It's, it's funny because I know a guy, I'm not going to say his name, disclose anything, but... So that's Russia. One of my off. closest all friends, Wait, all the news he, sent off. he's in the Navy... And he told me, literally, they have, like, uh, United States, we have submarines and, like, Russian nukes. very America top secret, next. like, vessels. Like nuclear submarines? I'm not, I'm just going to put it top secret vessels near the area of North Korea. And All they've American definitely nukes. been, like, oh, testing sure. nuclear weapons and everything. Like, oh, it's obvious. It's it's sure. news, dude. It's but it's, it's really it's funny proven. because. They are testing all kinds of shit. But <clears> it's really <throat> funny because. Oh, that's good, Sam. A, yeah. lo a lot of their parades. Just had to finish it off. North, off you know, like. North Korea. A lot of, like, you know, you watch those videos on YouTube. Like, oh, North Korea flexing their military power because they have a big old parade. And they have trucks with fucking. Huge looking missiles. Yeah, that trucks looks like built in the 1960s. A lot, they try, yeah, they exactly. try to front, but it, that doesn't deny the fact that they do have nukes. Yeah, exactly. Not anymore. But Trump the, 2020. Hey, oh! Hey, actually, <laughs> I think he just called off that deal. Uh, not Trump, but uh, Kim Jong un. Did he? I think See, he might have. I saw something in the news. He may have retracted his statement because they just had a really good meeting. But, I think we would have heard more uh, about that. See, and yeah, Trump denied like all of his offers, but. I just want to throw this out there. To this day, for a 100% fact, North Korea is definitely still testing nuclear weapons. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. because the, you got a Kim Jong Un, dude. He's fucking. He's in total power. Just like, for example, he kills his family members. Even literally, he killed off so many of his top military fucking like officials. Because like he straight. thought they were threatening him. Dude, it's straight up like the dictator. He's yeah. He is really like, like sure. no, no, like, but you dude, hey, bro. the dictator. Oh, I have <laughs> with James Franco yeah, but, and uh. Oh no, 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 no! That's the interview. The interview. The, that the was dictator. Great the dictator's movie. with like the guy from Bullrat. Oh yeah, and it's he's, literally oh, just what, made for he's comedy. Like, and he's the he's, dictator of some like r false, like just made up country, and he's the most like corrupt, worst dictator ever. Like he, they're trying to plan this nuclear program, and every time one of the scientists comes in and messes fuck? up, he, he <laughs> walks in and he just goes, <laughs> and then they shoot him in the head. Oh, literally, man. like I could just be like, Aaron, no, no, no. <laughs> boom, dude, he's dead. Like. Literally, that's what Kim Jong Un's doing. But like, this Evil is a made Morty up thing. when he finally but, gets elected. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, just, I, mean? I just want to throw this out there right now. Like, the United States, from what I've heard from other people in other branches, like, we're pretty set, man. We've got we've yeah. got fucking submarines, well, we, ships, whatever you fucking want to call it. At the very end, and this is just a cool thing to. James, I feel like I'm gonna break. At the end of the day, just table. know, like, oh, even good. even if you think America is getting their asses did, kicked by, <laughs> even if you think America is getting their asses kicked by Russia, or China, no. just know we have ships that literally are you cannot find on the fucking radar. So all over the globe. At the very end of nuclear testing, a total of two thousand and fifty-three have been tested in the world. A thousand thirty-two, half of them, a little more than half of them were set of all nuclear tests done and bombs launched were done by America. You fucking United States of fucking goddamn America. <laughs> right, dude. And, Fuck yeah. And, <laughs> like, at the half end of, the day, of them were like, done by America. 715 Russia. So Russia's a threat for sure, but America's got There's this. a reason the Cold and, War ended. Yeah. yeah and no, you, no kidding. And it's funny because you go on like any typical social media and you see all these American fucking people tweeting like, Oh, blah blah blah. You know, talking sounding, shit about sound, it. yeah, it, it, talking against America. Fuck At the you. end of the day, yeah. just know, motherfuckers, we have the highest firepower yeah. in the whole. Oh, even about even, it. even if China, baddest, even if China <laughs> has a billion active duties, just know we have fucking scientists who are working in an underground lab right now. Like, 
who have way better shit than you, And we're you, just bro. not flexing it. We're, we're not flexing it because why would we make that shit public? We that don't we're, need to. Yeah. Like, dude, let's yeah. show our weakness, and then they're like, okay, let's attack them. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you feel the full wrath of fucking America, just yeah. like World War II. Hey, Hitler thought he was the shit, and not going to lie, right, Hitler... You fucking- Hitler, 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 he had. Yeah, yeah, Hitler fucking, had a great plan. Yeah. He fucking literally almost conquered entire Europe, but what happened? Fucking what what's the dude that ruled Great Britain at the time? Fucking uh, uh, Churchill. Churchill. Yeah, Winston Churchill. Churchill. Was Churchill. Yep. Yeah. He was like he called for America, and next thing you know, you know, American American merchant ships were getting sunk. Yeah. Next thing you know, our oh, yeah, president was, And that was an accident. It was a, it was an, it was like yeah, a fluke just Germany, to Germany and <laughs> it's funny because no, it's fucked they took, up, bro. They took boat on one of our boats. Yeah, they they were exclusively told Germ, uh, Nazi ex, or uh, was, Hitler exclusively the told them do yeah. not attack uh, American, American ships. ships yep. And they accidentally sunk a couple and they of them. Like, they sunk well, a couple of them. It was just a passenger you know? ship, but then uh, people started claiming that there was hidden weapons and stuff on the boat. But yeah. like, I don't know if that was they true. had no it, proof. Yeah, and fucking Nazi Germany, their so, their little <laughs> U boats. Decided it'd be a great idea to attack yeah. an American Those fucking, fucking U boats, though, dude. An American vessel, and next thing you know, what it will happen? Fucking, we invade Normandy within one, one and a half, two years. Europe was conquered. Germany by the still had superior engineer, or superior engineering compared to us, though. Like well, there was a there was a quote from a uh, like a Nazi general. I think they did whatever Nazi first the tank too. Quote. So, yeah, the tank. Yes, quote, right? dude. They, one of our tanks could take on four American tanks, but they always had five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. literally, like um, all um, just all America to... did is with our population. You know, us being just kept the people we are. Were like, hey, look how tiny Germany fucking... is. Germany's microscopic compared to like America. Well, the, one of the main reasons that they lost because they actually allied with Russia they allied yes. with Russia when they were attacking like Finland yeah, and, and then stuff, they, and one, they turned and, their, sh- their fucking backs on and they on did them. it at a terrible time at a terrible point in the war when America was getting involved they decided to attack Russia and that big mistake fucked them and they hard. pushed up to what fucking because Russia at that point was getting destroyed in the war yeah but oh, once dude. winter hit once winter hit they rallied their troops, and Russia knows winter. They fucking dominated the Germans. Yeah, and it, it's around. really, it's really funny well, because who's our history teacher that did a bunch of acid? Oh uh, <laughs> shit, dude! I don't <laughs> know. I didn't teacher. know any. I didn't know <laughs> all all and people assumed he did. A I bunch know. Of acid. I know all the like uh, Bats, um, Gregory. Uh, he was like the one. Miss Johnson. He was the one um, that he looked like he was a stoner, or he used to teacher? smoke a bunch of weed. Maybe it was Global Ed. I don't know. Dude, I, I, all I know, sister. there's like four different... Art. But everyone's like, dude, this guy used to trip. Anyway, all I was going to say Maybe is Betts. Be... Betts was, in my opinion, the smartest teacher in the entire school. Okay. He what, knew everything on everything. Red River? Red River? Yeah. Like, yeah. he knew how to rebuild random cars. Were you on East Sider? He... I went to Red River freshman year. I dropped out the next year. Okay. And yeah, then you I went got my to... GED. Oh, yeah. yeah. Job mm-hmm. Corps. And a culinaries degree that I n- never used once I left. Is that just like for shit? For cooking. Oh, culinary. It's a culinary. I think yeah. about your colon. Like, no, no, a culinary. Cul- <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'm a chef. You but I haven't cooked since. <laughs> you can, I'd like that. Yeah. Or I'd like to have that degree so I can go go cook. I Hell yeah, dude. Dream. Yeah. It's really, farm. it's really uh, easy. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy. You know. And it's, if you um, have a passion in it, then I imagine. It's completely different. Yeah, and even if you don't, it's still enjoyable. Even mm-hmm. if you aren't really passionate, it's still enjoyable. It's fun. You get to see your, you get to create. It's art, you know. You get to yeah. create and see the outcome and trial and error. And it was a lot of fun. I, I did enjoy it a lot. But it, cooking doesn't pay, unless oh, you're sure. a five star yeah. chef. They actually a- offer a program there. That and if you're in here, the, that's like if you're in the top five percent, you get to go cook with the Iron Chefs in Bismarck. That's where the Iron Chef, the show, was going on. Really? And so if I had stayed, I would have been able to, uh, potentially been able to go and cook with the Iron Chefs and whatnot. That yeah. would have been a trip. Yeah, it's a really cool program that they put on at the at the one in, in Minot. It's uh, the Job Corps in Minot. Really? Yeah. Is that a yeah. Santa Cruz Ninja Turtle shirt? Fuck yeah, dude. That's dope as fuck. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was I was gonna say something about the Santa, Santa Cruz. Is that they make clothing and grinders or like and skateboards? Well, the Santa Cruz Crusher is a grinder. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's the same company. Okay, I just assumed. Cause the logo on that kind of looks like a grinder, doesn't it? No, it's a sewer grate. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that Ninja Turtles. Out, yeah. Duh. 
Da da da. <laughs> God damn, do you have a micro USB? My shit died. You want to grab me the other one? You want? Yep. Sure. Uh, for iPhone? Mm hmm. Yeah, I got you. I'll plug it in right now. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Micro USB? They don't make a micro USB for iPhone. What? Oh, there's one down here. Thank you. Dude, I'm so oh, glad so many people are like well versed in like World War II history and whatnot. Have you guys seen on I, Netflix? I've always, got a bunch I, I've of always been. Stuff. I always loved history channel yeah. as a kid, so I oh, always dude, watched that. World and then once I shit. once yeah. I got into school, history was always my best subject just because I had an interest in it. And then I took the Great Wars my senior year, and that helped with learning about more of the wars and stuff. So. It, isn't it scary? But I never how... took like, any college classes or nothing. How lied to students are now about history? How they're not taught? Like what subject? About I don't know about Literally, like way, Adolf Hitler and shit yep. like that. Like dude, the the way students are are taught in especially in the in uh, you know college campuses and whatnot about um, communism and socialism and how it's this great idea. And I, I've, and, I've, I've heard I mean? I've heard and about like, socialism being. Uh, projected as a good idea it's and, common it's, core, and socialism dude. is communism Do you know communism what killed a hundred million people in the 20th century it killed way more than Literally, yeah, there's, there's, people, there's people like on board saying that like u.s re should resort to it too yeah, absolutely that's what social, <laughs> that's why silly people are voting shit. for bernie sanders dude yeah oh like, yeah i got i mean bernie's not that he's, he's a socialist the, the, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not against him i'm not for him but I'm he's just not that drugs. crazy it's com it's the, communism is the, what it is. yeah the funny thing i think thing that is, may be a little far-fetched it's it's not okay it's communism the the idea of communism communism came from karl marx marxism and the idea the sole idea of marxism is that to create a communist utopia you tax and take money you redistribute wealth you take money from the rich and you give it to the poor and in that and in that movement communist russia went through this massive spree where they were going and raping and murdering all the farmers business owners <laughs> factories they killed get, hundreds of let's millions let's get a little bit real here you think bernie no. sanders is gonna start fucking he, no, I mean, bernie, like that, he supports like, the on. same ideology the exact same ideology and beliefs that I, I'm, not, I'm, not a bernie, I'm not a bernie supporter of, yeah. i'm just saying that and i think that might be a little far-fetched here's the thing it sounds far-fetched but he supports the exact same ideology that fueled the death of hundreds of millions of people in the, 20, yeah. in the 20th he, century. He also, wants to basically it's a take thought, and he's he a really wants nice it, guy. Like, yeah, but he, everyone thinks it, that they can he, do it right, and it so doesn't work. So let's say I'm Bill Gates. What Bernie Sanders thinks is literally like, okay, I'm making billions of fucking dollars almost every day, and... He I thinks, think that's it's true. How, millions how, every day. How, okay, sorry, millions every day. Sorry. Off of what? How's Bernie Bill Gates. or Bill Gates? Oh, literally I thought about Bernie he, again. You know, no, sorry. sorry. He sorry, he literally know. created Microsoft, and Microsoft has like three to this day and the internet. is making <laughs> millions and millions of dollars a day because he fucking created the very first, basically he the very the first. Internet. Exactly. Yeah, he yeah. created the internet. And what Bernie Sanders wants to do is basically, hey man. Sorry, you created that, but there's fucking people living on the streets. Let's take your money yeah. and distribute it to those people who all are less fortunate. It. Bill Gates all is tremendous it. with charity. Take all let, of the money. Let me just chime in real quick. Yeah. Bill Gates does a lot of vaccination donations, like to third world countries and to just people he does here. That, so fucking much. He does a yeah. ton, dude. Yeah, he, no, it's he not has... like rich people aren't empathetic. Yeah, you know. Well, but that's just it. You know what? Rich, they there's this stigma painted about rich people that they're greedy and they want to keep all their money and they want to keep everybody poor and this and that. It's the complete opposite. They pick good charities, the man. Wealthy money or wealthy people give a tremendous amount to charities. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates. I mean, you name it. Anybody who has money, they give a tremendous amount. They pay their employees. They well. also they, get a tax write up, tax write off for yeah, charities. But yeah, but that's. That's not why. Yeah, that's a but. benefit. That's a positive thing yeah. to be able to write things off and help your to help yourself and help others. It's like if you help others, if you go to charity, if you spend money in charity, it's going to help you as well. And so it's an incentive to help the community and help charities. And this, and that. you take away that incentive, you take away people's money. Why do you think America created the automobile, created atomic bombs, created the internet, created smartphones? You fucking name it, we made it. You want to become like Russia? You want to become like Venezuela? You want to take away all the incent uh, incentive. incentive to create innovation? All the incentive. All of it. 
Right, because like, what, what, what are do you, you think we're gonna for? become? Uh, what do you think the What do you think but, the end goal is? Like I said, I'm not a I'm not a Bernie supporter. Yeah. I'm 100 percent Republican, so yeah. like I don't disagree with your points there. But yeah. I was just saying that the whole Bernie about to fucking murder our country is a no, little fucked up. But the thing is, I don't think a lot of that's unrealistic. I don't think a lot. I I know I'm not saying I'm not saying that's interactive. But the people. Yeah, Bert, the, dude, you can't say Stalin and Bernie Sanders are the same. Dude, Stal Stalin's goal wasn't to murder all these wealthy people. It was to tax them. The people rallied together in these mobs. The people, not the military, the people went and raped and murdered hundreds <laughs> of millions of farmers and wealthy people and completely destroyed their in infrastructure. In a very unstable fucking government. So what is Antifa? There's hardly any of them. Anti-facers. anti or. What are they doing? Uh, they support fascist, Bernie, yeah. right? Bernie isn't for violence and beatings and wearing masks and hiding your face and beating the shit out of people and doing things by force. Yeah, but they support him this. because he that's just it. Bernie doesn't have to be a bad guy. He creates a stigma that people follow that is bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, I, I see that's the from. difference. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. mean he's a bad yeah. guy, but he creates an environment and a society but that is bad and evil But comparing him to one of core. the most like, murderous fucking leaders ever to exist but is a little far. The ideology. And, and, socialism. Yeah. And, not the man. Dude, I don't I just want to point, I just want to point out the fact yeah, that yeah, Ber yeah, that's a little far too. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Sanders is, is... Think about how many people Stalin killed. More than Hitler. Stalin didn't kill hundreds of millions of people. His ideology and regime and the people that got followed people it killed, killed. hundred got people more killed. people oh, killed than the just Holocaust the leader itself, I believe. That's Bernie. He literally oh, like Stalin's ideology okay, got I'm see, done with mil, more okay. than people <laughs> there, but more than I'm pretty sure Joseph Stalin, his ideology got more people killed than Adolf Hitler's Sign fucking Holocaust. Significantly more. The millions Holocaust, millions of which is it's yeah. it's crazy to think because World War Two is mem like we remember World War Two yeah. by the fact that a one fucking one crazy bastard Adolf Hitler who had the mind of fucking any devil like Dude, people Mussolini believe in killed Mussolini got millions of Italians killed as well. General mm -hmm. Mao in China. Yes, I don't know about China, that. Yeah, he China, was a, he's China a was literally communist. Yeah, China was literally in the millions middle. Millions and millions people murdered. Was it World yeah. War Two? This was the twentieth century. Why as well. do you think? Because Japan is such a small island, they literally like took over almost half of fucking I you said, China. Oh, oh yeah, Japan, yeah. Because no, China was in a revolutionary was war. Yeah. Yeah, because they would target doctors. They were medics. It was, it was socialism. That's and, why medics that was, wouldn't wear their medic shit because. Yep. Oh Japanese yeah, yeah. Target and, right away. And, yeah. Did you see the Adolf, Red Cross? Yeah, yeah. And Adolf Hitler got really lucky because the fact, like he he had t decided to attack Russia. Russia had a lot of its military stationed on the Chinese border, thinking they were about to invade because they were they were literally in a civil war, fucking killing each other, just like mm -hmm. we were in the American fucking yeah. civil war. Do you guys think we're ever gonna see another civil war? Civil? Yeah. I think I. Fuck. That's a you question. Know, that's a yeah. that's a tough oh, but, question. What topic? Because, what topic would it be over though? Um, like there has to be a major. Honest, there has to be a major thing to trigger a civil war. There has to be like the tension thing. building up, and then one main you know, incident you know what to I think, set it off. I think and I don't know what it. What I, it would I think it's. I think it's actually much closer than people think. So it it starts off with. Uh, divisiveness between parties yeah. right between right. ideologies and, and, and the yeah. democratic party and, and the republican and, party yeah, are but definitely tremendous separate. divisiveness and within that divisiveness certain um certain standards of of retaliation start to build so it starts with yelling and and uh, and belittling people and making other people seem evil we've already surpassed that then it gets to violence people hiding their face and masking themselves antifa. and arming themselves antifa and then it gets to republicans where now re you know conservatives and republicans are going on these marches because antifa is doing it so they're going on these open carry marches where they're going on open carry things with guns and then antifa's showing up to protest them with bats and shields and masking their face and so we've already got armed people and armed people going to these protests beating the shit out of each other a lot of them are armed and we're extremely fortunate that nobody has rolled up and shot a bunch of people down in charlottesville we well, had somebody run them over with a with a car ran 
What if he had a fucking gun? I thought I thought that was what just a random. Just laid... I thought that was a random guy that was just caught in traffic and was like, "Fuck this." <laughs> you would say, right? <laughs> "Yeah," because Antifa blocked literally the highway, yeah. and this motherfucker was like, <laughs> so "I'm not dealing shit. with this shit." Like, really? You guys are gonna fucking protest in the middle of the street? Runs runs over a bunch of people, and then yet, the media covers. More of the fact that people got ran over than the dude who was like, "Are you? What why happened? are yeah. you in the middle of the highway?" Yeah. And this that, was the one in Charlottesville specifically. There was one that happened in the cities where people were moving onto the highway. Twin and cities. A car was yeah, and a car was coming through Minneapolis, and a car was coming. Oh, through was this the recent group, one? And this and one, one chick and just got fucking. Cr- and I watched it. And I'm like, oh shit! And then and uh, then all the, the protesters were like, "Get off the street!" Like telling everyone to get yeah. off the street right the, after. The that. one in Charlottesville that was was no accident. It was it was it was for murder. It was ru- it was in the middle so, of downtown. Yeah. It was running through a massive group of people to try and kill them. Now, if this guy, the second somebody pulls out a fucking gun and starts gunning down, it's it's the gun owner's side, fault. And the and the crazy it's thing, gonna get ugly. It's yeah. gonna get ugly fast. You and know? the and I don't the know. crazy thing is, is literally I think it's either gonna tame down or it's gonna step up. It depends who the next president is. I think that yeah. that whole Charlottesville incident was caused by just one police officer shooting a dude that he felt threatened his life. The dude got in, proven innocent in the court was of fucking the, law. This wasn't the Brown. Was it the Brown case? I don't know. I'm if pretty he sure. Should have been the, proven innocent though. See, dude. yeah, yeah. I not, think that guy was definitely in the wrong. See, and and just the fact that they burned down an entire city over such a sm- well, like the cops like, need to yeah, one life is lost. Trigger. Like that's like, wild. Think of who becomes a cop. It's usually people that were picked on in high school, and they no. Yeah, but my, what, my but brother's, I wanna uh, be my brother's a state trooper, and he's yeah. Everybody, everybody, you, everybody you never met a man cops. like this guy. You never be, He's he's somebody that's just he's something special. A lot of officers are. Really, something special. My yeah. stepdad was a cop. There, there, are, there are bad cops out there. Definitely. And I, I would yeah. go as far to say that the, sure, the there are some racist cops the out 1%. there. It happens, but man, officers are people that boy, they need respect. Yeah, yeah. you know, in, in the sa- in this day and age, they're getting a lot of heat. Yeah. But for for the most part, like you can't categorize them like that. Like incidents happen here and there that are fucked up. You yeah, fucking like, don't get me wrong. Some doing fucked up best. shits happen. Yeah, but. And Imagine you going up there every and day. And the thing is, I want to become, I want to become a police being officer. Being a because I, here in Grand Forks, man, exactly. we have a great department. Yeah, right. Here go in to Grand Chicago, Forks. dude. They'll hire ex-military yeah, like and, that. Yeah, and, and go to New York, they'll hire ex-military it's, like it's that. It's sad but if that you can they get in love here, bro, to get ex-military on their forces, dude. Yeah, if you can get in here, we have such an outstanding police force. But the second you cross that fucking river, yeah, they dude, it's suck, it's honestly, it's just, it's just wild that I believe that ever since. Like, I ain't really throwing the blame on him, but Barack Obama, like, you got, we got way more media coverage on police doing bad shit than police doing good shit. And then, he was I literally, nice dude, like, I follow, I follow so many, like, Second Amendment fucking pages on Facebook. Fucking, it's just literally social media. And the fact that I've seen so many articles on good people with, yeah. with a firearm saving another fucking person's life because they could shield carry yeah. and they shot the dude fucking in and, and not letting people news. die and yeah. yet all we see is AR15s or yeah. semi-automatic weapons killing people like what the fuck dude literally like i want buy every, a yearly weapons buy your guns from friends because if they come for the guns it's not registered to your name. You think Don't they're going you you to come for bump stocks? The people that already own them, since they're gone now? You think they're I don't gonna... think they're actually going to come. No, I don't they think won't. police forces... But people are worried about in, that, and in, I think yeah, that's, just, and, that's silly. And, and they're not going to go and try to bust down people's doors. Yeah. You want to know? Like, well, people no, that's, that what, what, that's when the Civil War breaks out, dude, because people yes. will shoot for their guns. Yeah. It could be something. Maybe when assault rifles finally get banned, people are going to fucking revolt. If people start knocking on the doors to get your guns, I've got three, and I wouldn't appreciate them getting taken away with no benefit back. And the funny thing is, I'm going to throw it out. buy them from you, do it but yeah and i'm gonna throw it out out there right now i own a bump stock have i destroyed it turned it in fuck no yeah but are the police gonna come to my fucking door 
and be like, You just hey, bro. wait now. Dude, I'm a fucking bloodthirsty yeah. motherfucker that literally raised my right hand just yeah. like that police officer. Yeah. Swore to protect the Constitution. Harder than that yeah. police officer. And that's but why is that you mother- have guns. Exactly. Yeah. And is that... But, and, and you know... When they start taking sucks, marine guns, that's fucked up. And, and the fact that, like... People are throwing a big deal about bump sucks, but I, I I really just want to throw this out there right now. Fully auto is not going to serve you as well as semi-automatic no, because you are not as accurate. Yeah. Like, literally, I can fucking place a shot on a fucking a target that's 500, yard, 500 meters, whatever. Whatever the fuck away, better than I could with full auto. Yeah. Literally, dude, I, I when I was on my little fucking special purpose Meg Taft down to Peru, I... Like, our gunnery sergeant, he gave us a shit ton of tracer rounds. Literally, we had, like, at least a thousand rounds left over of tracer rounds. That's because we were doing an unknown distance range, but we had a bunch of ranges. We had to wrap it all up in two days. And the first day, we didn't have, like, not very many people shot it because we, it took too much time to shoot the machine gun range and whatnot. So he gave us a bunch of tracer rounds. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. I filled up all my fucking little mag pull magazines, filled them all up with tracer rounds, and I was like, okay, there's a car easily, uh, and I and the max effective range of a fucking M4 rifle, I think is 550 or 650. It's I, right in between 500 and 600. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's it's something like that. So I was like, all right, bet. You know, there's a there's a car out there bet. with a thousand. <laughs> Dude, no, I, have, I have I have a few or a few magazines on my fucking plate carrier, full of fucking five five six. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna do my best to fucking aim for and try to hit this car. Let's see if I can fucking do it. Let's see if it's possible. <coughs> so literally, first round, I aim up at about the 800 yard line on my fucking little ACOG scope, my Trigicon. Which a lot of people are very familiar with that because it's a very trusted optic. Mm-hmm. And in Call, Call of Duty, great optic. Yeah, very, yeah. yeah really, Call anybody anybody who's yeah. played Call of Duty knows exactly what it is. Yeah. So that's literally what the Marine Corps What's we get. When you're paying 550 for a Call of Duty, I know it's Call of Duty. We get issued. Everybody has an ACOG scope and a PEC 16, which is literally like at night time you could throw on a little NVG, which is like your night vision goggles. You is that can see sing- your eye or laser. single eye or is that yeah cool. so right now the marine corps only got single eyed but i mean it, it did it's... you hit the car okay so <laughs> funny <laughs> thing is so i'm like all right bet. <laughs> so i fucking I, I lay down i lay down in the car's way out there i fucking throw my magazine on the deck you know it's inserting my fucking rifle ground in the chamber i fucking sit there i'm like all right here we go so I put it at about the 800 yard line, and then there's obviously lines across the fucking horizontal line, and it goes like two, four, six, eight, whatever. Pull the, the trigger and a nuke so, hit the car. <laughs> <laughs> so I pointed, I pointed it at the first I line. I'm like, all right, because the wind was, it, there was a little bit of slight wind that day. It wasn't super windy, so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna point it over just slightly. Boom! Pull the fucking trigger. First round, bam! Right into the fucking hood of that car. Not even joking, like I Did was. Your like, sergeant hook you up? I was, dude, I was, I was, I was so fucking happy for myself. I was like, damn, bro, I just hit a fucking car that's over a thousand yards away. Gonna join the sniper First force. Shot. Some Chris Kyle shit. Yeah, 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 rattlesnake. I feel like a sniper, but it's Why literally you just a fucking. Eyes open? It's literally just an M4 carbine with fucking one shot of five five six, and everybody knows the size of five five six. It's literally like. Almost as small as the 22, <laughs> except the cartridge itself is bigger. So I promise my audience has no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't know. You don't, bro, I guess. Bro, no deck, boy. And that's just it. It's good to talk about things you don't know. But you know why I like watching the Joe Rogan podcast? Because they talk about shit I don't know. And I'm like listening, and it's interesting. And you learn. Yeah. That's what I love See, about podcasts. You learn from that shit. And you hear people who are passionate just riffing like also this. Also, haven't really like, explained anything. So if you weren't familiar with the topic, then it kind of would be... Uh, and understand. yeah, and kind of and, how to explain more, elaborate more. At the end of the day, me being a <clears> marine, <throat> and then there's people who own AR-15s that people think are the deadliest weapons. At the end of the day, honestly, you need to just personally keep an open mind, do your fucking research, and just l- read topics. Jewish people. Yeah, dude, we got like, something about the Jewish. I I hate Jewish people. <laughs> Boom. You, why? Like, if that's your opinion, that's your fucking. All right, let's opinion. end this podcast on a really good note. I got a good note. 
How about everyone just plugs their social media and we're done? No, I don't want to plug my shit. I don't... Oh, you got the bomb? He's got the bomb. Oh, okay. Cool. Dude, I love fucking uh, hot ones. All right, that's a podcast. So, oh, oh. We were, talk- try the bomb. we were talking about nukes, and uh, we're about to do the newest I'll run it. nuclear test ever. So this right. is the bomb no. hot sauce. Did you got some crackers to put that shit if on? If you guys, do you have anything that we could even... I, would, I really I don't want to eat that. Pretzel. 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 Pretzel's fine. Pretzel. Pretzel. Anyhow. Dude, everybody on Hot Ones says that the Dude, bomb is, like, the worst one. That's Even the ones that try it. the two hottest. This looks like literally sriracha sauce. It is. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that bad. <laughs> At the end of the day, everyone's in front of their own opinions. It's 2019. Do you have something we can Go Donald Trump. we can pour some on? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just and, saying we should all have a gay friend, dude. And then dip. I got some gay friends. Shout out to James Charles, dude. Yo, He's shout out guy. to Sarah Sweeney, the dopest gay out there. Shout out to Charles <laughs> oh, Manson. Shit, nah, you guys don't know her. <laughs> Sarah's dope as shit. Shout out to Lee Harvey Oswald for shooting John F. Kennedy in the head and there's, well, like, whatever they believe. Well, there's some more edited footage. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone knows that's a joke. <laughs> All right, so if you guys have ever seen Hot Ones, if you guys have ever seen Hot Ones, it's a it's a great show where they take wings, ten wings they get from hot to hot as fuck, and they interview like athletes, all musicians, all different types of Everybody. celebrities. Really outstanding interviews, really fun. And as they go through ten questions, they eat eat a wing for each question. Now the bomb is known to be. The most painful. The most unpleasant hot sauce. So I ordered it. It's not the hottest on the scale, but the, a more majority of the people on the show always freak out once they hit this one because it's, it's the, supposedly the worst. It's the most unpleasant and just rough and hot and just not not lovely. So we're going to put some in this bowl. We're going to dip pretzels in it. We're going to make sure everybody got a good enough dip. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, dude. No one to do that. Looks that looks really dude, thick and that. scary. All right. We're all taking an equal dip. I'm not about to load on more than anybody else. I'm gonna go for the first one. Okay. Hold on, we're Kem- all gonna do it together. Is camera starting to stack? Oh, I need a full pretzel. Fuck that. <laughs> there you go, bro. I got about a half pretzel right yeah, here. Yeah, I get a little more than that. Of the bomb. I'm about to have a nuclear reaction. I'm right, get some more mouth. water for this right, trip. So, hey, let's shout out dots quick though, because these were locally made. Flam. Hey, shout out to dots pretzels. All right, you got to get a little more on there. Camera like has a that. good amount. Like that. Wait, let, oh, you got a good amount. Let's okay. put them. Uh, let's put them up to the camera first. Am I? Am I in your ballpark here? You're in the ballpark, bro. How'd I do? You're good. All right. Camera's going lightweight on this one. James is going hard. Oh, no, he's no. going hard. He's, oh, he's, he's had a bunch running down the oh, side. Shit. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Don't scare me and tell me I'm going fucking hard. Damn, okay, they're saying I'm not going hard. All right, All right. hey everybody. Hold up. Not yet. Sit down and then we'll. Okay. Let's cheers right. our pretzels. Cheers. Everybody bring it in. Bring this is in. the vlogcast, boys. Oofta. All right. Oh, man, I hit myself <laughs> right in the taste bud. <laughs> like, right in the corner of my mouth. I don't think oh this my is god. enough. I don't got burn yet. Oh, my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's already flaming. <funny. laughs> Yeah, and oh my god, wow. <laughs> I ain't got shit here. Yeah, it's not that bad. Right no. No. Oh, it's okay, it's starting to get there a little bit. It gets worse over the next three minutes. Ugh. It gets worse. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna attempt not to drink water. We'll see Ugh. what I can do. There's milk in the fridge. It may have Ugh. expired a day ago. Oh, dude, it catches you in the back of the throat pretty bad, Ugh. huh? It does. Oh, oh my I'm, god. I'm, no doubt, I'm sweating here. Give him a garbage can just in case. Do you need Ugh. it? Do you need it? <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot. You had a lot. I mean, my saliva is like. <laughs> oh. right, I'm gonna go for a second one. I'm not going for a second. You down yet. for a second one? Not yet, dude. Right. I, don't, I feel like it's gonna get hotter and hotter because it's still roasting me pretty yeah, hard, dude. Hey, is that? Is that good? Mm. That was the worst oh, idea. I got some in the back of my throat. Like I'm, I might have to turn my water, boys. Oh. 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 It just sucks to breathe. I think I'm immune. Oh. Oh, I'm making it, boys. I'm making it. No fucking okay. water. Fuck water. Water. You could check the date on that milk. It might be a little iffy. Huh? 
Oh. You want some water? <laughs> oh, that's a big fuck you, your eyes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm watering too. Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck? Breathe out your nose and take the burn. Oh my god, why'd I do that? I don't second know why one. you did that, that was too much. It's yeah. the vlogcast, dude. You Holy did a second one? shit! Dude, I fucking gotta tough this out. I'm not taking water. Oh, it hurts. I'll cry my way through. I'm good now. I'll, I'll wait I'm till, good. I'll wait till camera gets here and it... <sighs> no, we gotta let this run for a minute until it's gone. Do we? Yeah. Do they do that on the show? Yeah. They also do shout outs. Oh my like, god. Yeah, and to make people talk. No, I'm saying if you guys want to plug social media. Oh, fucking fuck. Ugh. Hit me up on uh. Facebook. <laughs> it's the worst platform. Yeah, Jesus. Fuck you guys. Yeah, Sam invests in Facebook. Oh. Hit me up on MySpace. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Tumblr. Snapchat, <laughs> philosopher fig. Zero philosophy, all fig. Pinterest. Wow. My shit's running. Oh, it hurts so bad, dude. That was so much worse than I actually thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought I was good with spicy shit, but this shit still is just burning oh the my fuck God. on me. Well, if our heroes can do it on on YouTube. so They far. have a whole wing, too. Like, they have a whole... Yeah, they eat the whole thing. It fills up the whole palate. Not always. It hits the tongue in different spots. <laughs> we should have gotten a spoonful. <laughs> Fuck that. That would, that would put you in coma. <laughs> I'm really I had it. All right, you guys, you guys good? No. I'm good. Like to end? Are no we... fucking water right. for me. I'm good. All right, hey, everybody pose for a thumbnail. I'll just pause it. Ugh. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, that's a podcast, boys. Oh, my God, I'm about to go all the way down. Season. Are you putting your face in the snow too, Huff? Fuck no. <sighs> it's not that hot. Here he is. Let's <sighs> put some cup in the snow. Oh, <laughs> dude. Don't. It's dirty snow. You gotta dig in a little oh, bit. Dog. Yeah, you're just dig, dig yeah dude. My my hey, dog go. pissed yeah, on this today. Here's some good snow. There's a good chunk for you. I mean, I'm sure his leg didn't get that high, but like. <laughs> I'm gonna take a piss on there. <laughs> dude, it just feels good to be outside in the cold temperature and breathe in. <sighs> oh my god. Who y'all fucked that? <laughs> Don't chew on me. Because he's a flexor. No, I'm okay. It burns the roof of your mouth. I didn't just get shit on the roof. It's just all on my tongue. Yeah, dude. I hit like the corner of my taste bud at first. And then I breathed in too fast and I got some right in the back of my throat and that's what fucking got me. But it ain't that bad.